do more than just buy and sell Bitcoin. Use long and short positions to profit in rising and falling markets and to boost your returns through leverage. Visit CoinArch.com and sign up using coupon code MAX and get free brokerage for the first seven days. That's CoinArch.com. Support also comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, February 13th, 2015. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. The entire nation has been transfixed by the emotional saga of missing toddler Aaron Crawford. Police remain baffled by four-year-old Aaron's mysterious disappearance. The Crawford family is finally speaking out, but it isn't easy. We're taking it day by day, you know? We just miss our baby so much. This must be so hard on everyone. All he does is cry. I hate him. Little Aaron was last seen in the bedroom he shares with his older brother, Denny. Authorities say he was abducted by an intruder in the middle of the night. Denny was in the room when Aaron was taken. Yeah, right here. Now it's just my room. Denny, can you tell us what happened? I was in my room. A man lifted up the window and came in. Were you scared? Yes, because I thought he's going to take my Xbox. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Welcome to the program. We're here live on this Sunday edition of the show with you tonight. It's me, Ian. And me, Mark. Our toll-free number, toll number is... Ooh, hey, I can hear myself. I'm going to stop that from happening. Uh, can anybody else board, hear that? Or board up, you? just a heads up. We are getting some talk back through the Comrex access. Anyway, toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. You do need to send a contact request first if you haven't done so. Once that's completed, then you can easily call us anytime you want on Skype. Of course, we're here live seven nights per week. Now, uh, let's see, Mark. Was the, oh, there was a story last night that we teased and we never ultimately got to, I think. Um, and if you still have it, feel free to pull that I up. I got it. What is it? It was about the the middle schooler who threw a flag oh, out yeah, the window. Oh, yeah, we teased the heck out of that thing. Well, we teased it. We ended up talking about uh, Fifty Shades of Grey all night long all for the entire three hours of the show. Everybody wants to talk about spanking. The BDSM more specifically and kind of where that all comes from. So, uh, again, our toll-free number is 855-453. There's a horrifying video that has been released, yet another in the series of beheading videos from allegedly from ISIS. And I did find the video today, and I did post the link to that video on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter uh, with the statement, here's the video of the latest awful beheadings allegedly by ISIS. So if you've been seeing the headlines and you've been wondering what the video actually looks like, you can see it there. The mainstream media will not embed this video in any of their articles. So I went the way I found it this time, because Google video search was not revealing it. Um, I found it by going to Twitter and searching for it there. So that's kind of a new tool that I can use to come across where the actual videos are, the hmm. obscure websites that they happen to be uploaded to that maybe are not being uh, searched as prominently by Google. So the website that's hosting this video, I've never heard of before. It's uh, sendvid.com, where I guess you can just upload some video and then use that website to send it to someone to watch, but it's also available publicly. So you can watch this video in which 21 hostages, this is the most I've seen so far, 21 hostages are executed by decapitation. And it is like the ones that have come previous. Remember the one with the 15 Syrian airmen? that were yeah. uh, beheaded, that uh, that was pretty, or was it 18? Anyway, quite a few folks from uh, Syria, airmen, were beheaded in a previous video. And this follows that same style where there's slow motion, uh, there's very good editing, kind of intercutting of close-ups and things like that. It's pretty gross. It's pretty detailed. This is not one of the videos where they cut to the corpse afterwards. They do show the they're actual... They're full-on cutting people's heads off. Yes, they so do So whose heads that. are they cutting off? Uh, they're, sh they're cutting off 21 
Coptic Christians, allegedly. The story Why? here from RT.com. Egypt's President Abdel El Sisi said Cairo, quote, reserves the right to respond in any way to the killing of 21 Copts by Islamic State militants. That's C-O-P-T-S. The extremist group has released a graphic video showing the beheadings of the Copts that were kidnapped in Libya. CC warned that Cairo would choose, quote, necessary means and timing to avenge the criminal killings as he spoke on state television in the wake of the surfaced footage of the brutal executions. The Copts, native Christians of Egypt, are shown in the video dressed in orange jumpsuits with their hands tied behind their back while being walked along the seaside by jihadists dressed in black. The Egyptian men are then forced to kneel before being beheaded. Several very graphic images of the killings appeared on Twitter. RT will not run the images, believing it is unethical to publish footage or pictures of atrocities committed by terrorists, even if they cannot be immediately verified. Uh, you know, it's like, okay, so there was also a shooting today, uh, or maybe it was yesterday, I don't know, uh, you know, time zones or whatever, in Denmark uh, mm-hmm. by somebody that they're... Certainly a radical Islamist from what they're claiming. They're certainly claiming that. Um, maybe Al-Qaeda related, difficult to know, probably not Islamic State related. But uh, maybe there's some sympathies on both sides. I don't know. Al-Qaeda and Islamic State. So like, Al-Qaeda is still out there? I thought they'd become the Islamic State. No, the Islamic State and, uh, and Al-Qaeda really don't get along. Oh, really? Well, you know, that's how it is with governments. Mm, uh, yeah. Organizations that use violence to uh, get what they want. They're always that way. Who, it's about who's in charge. It's not about, uh, you know, what the what the change is. It's about who gets to be in charge. So they'll do and say, honestly, what it takes to, 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 get, to say, change some regimes so they get some piece of land that they control. And that's what's going on with both these organizations. But what it seems like is one of two things from what I'm seeing here is while Obama goes and asks for increased war powers against ISIS, these acts of violence ramp up or continue. Yep. And it makes me want to wax conspiratorial here and say these people must – this must be controlled information leak because – um, you know, why why would they do this? You know, it seems it all just seems like a ramp well, up to war. This is nothing new. I mean, they've it's done this new. before. Or they just want to get bombed back into the Stone Age. If I mean, if anybody in the Middle East doesn't think the United States can blow everybody up there, kill everybody in the entire landmass, they're out of their minds. They want? Do they want to go to heaven? Is that the idea? I uh, I don't know, Mark. I think they just want to be in control. They want to take over. They'll certain- be in control of their own deaths. And everybody else's. Well, they're still there, and bombings have been happening. So Very limited ones coming from drones. Well, I hope that bombings don't uh, become more than limited because there are already innocent people being um, slaughtered. I'm not advocating for this. I'm only saying that, hey, if you keep on this, this to some extent is a holy war. Certainly, the people on the other side will make claims like that, right? The Islamic mm-hmm. State will certainly make claims like that. And there are plenty of people on the sort of the Western side that are beginning to see the it's the Jews and the Christians against the, 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 the Muslims. There's plenty of people that believe that, and more people every day are switching over to that side. Uh, you know, I believe personally that this is really about uh, U.S. Naval, uh, U.S. war and naval power, uh, military power in the Middle East, and U.S. support for uh, the Israeli state. I think those problems can honestly be fixed if uh, if people really wanted to fix those problems. I don't think they do because I think it's about power and control. But, you know, as the violence continues, speci- specifically against Christians— it's going to look, it's going to be, you know, Christians are going to say themselves more and more, well, this is it. It's a holy war. Let's go. Well, and once you're committed to war, that's it. Just to be clear, they're also killing people who are is- Islamic yep, as well. Yeah, sure are. Uh, they're killing anyone who's not part of ISIS, yeah. basically. Didn't, you remember that picture we had? We posted on the Free Talk Live Facebook page of the uh, the ISIS uh, militants that were uh, that were praying, to, praying um, their daily prayers faced in two different directions? Don't recall that, no. Yeah, there was a picture that, that was seems released. Strange. It's it's extraordinarily strange. What's with that? What's it's the like explanation for that. They don't know what their religion says, right? Like they're. That's pretty basic. I mean, as far it's as really, really basic. Yeah, you face Mecca, right? Yeah. There's some people in the United States that would people might call a Christian nation that don't know the tenets of Christianity. Yeah, and they may very well be willing to fight for, you know, 
against the the Muslims. So you know, it's possible. So our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. There's more here from RT about this video. 21 Coptic Christians beheaded, allegedly by Islamic State militants. Several graphic images uh, have appeared, and I have found the actual video itself. A caption on the five-minute video reads, quote, The people of the cross, followers of the hostile Egyptian church, unquote. Before the killings, one of the militants stood with a knife in his hand and said, Quote, safety for you crusaders is something you can only wish for, unquote. The Coptic Church confirmed that 21 Egyptian Christians— So the, the whole crusader narrative, it's not like this didn't exist. I think it's really worth pointing out that there were wars that the, the Christianity uh, executed against the Muslim world in, you know, many, many centuries ago. Okay. But if we look at that, you need to also look at the wars of conquest by Muslims throughout the Christian world. Wouldn't that be fair? Sure. There were like something more than eight times as many um, hostile military actions by Islamic powers inside of the Christian world than there were uh, hostile military actions uh, from Christians on Muslims. I don't think that means anything. I don't really care what happened a thousand years ago. I think everybody just needs to lay down their weapons and start talking about how we can have a better world. But... If, if you know, if you want to trot out crusades, it's not like Christianity is the worst uh, culprit in in the crusade. In, Aren't in, most of the American presidents Christians? Yes. Yeah, I think every. Are American, you counting them when you're counting up the? No, towns? no, I'm talking about the the crusades. Okay. Things called crusades. Oh. There were okay. things called crusades. Gotcha. And there were other military actions uh, by Christians against uh, you know Islamic held territories, and then there were. Uh, military actions on the other side, and there's really no uh, numer- numer- numerically, there's really no comparison. So if the people who are fighting didn't call it a crusade, then therefore it would not count in that way, in that there are a bunch of Christians. That's what it draws are... to mind to me. Yeah. So maybe if you were, if we're just using crusade as a rhetorical oh, term. We'll come back with more. It's Free Talk Live. The largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common... Are you you getting feedback from the access or from the... I asked, yeah. Risks featuring full color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000 year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800 686 2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800 686 2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition of the program. Our toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, you've got me, Ian. And me, Mark. And don't forget, you can go and grab Bitcoins, Litecoin, and Dogecoin over at ExpressCoin.com. It's the best choice for getting cryptocurrencies. They're a licensed money services business, so they jump through those governmental hoops. And uh, you can get your cryptocurrencies with money order, check, or wire transfer. ExpressCoin.com is the best option out there. I've used it. Mark has used it. Uh, I will likely use it again yeah. when I need to get some Bitcoin. Start off over at ExpressCoin.com, whether you're in the U.S. or Canada. And you can do it from your smartphone. They've got an app over at ExpressCoin.com. Use coupon code FTL, and you'll get up to $40 worth of your favorite cryptocurrency with no fee at all. So let's say you're brand new to Bitcoin, and you've been thinking about getting some Bitcoin, but you're not so sure. You really don't know where to go. Expresscoin.com. Less than forty dollars, and if you order less than forty dollars worth, use code FTL. No fee. So what a better what better way to get your first Bitcoin is to pay no transfer fee uh, over at Expresscoin.com with code FTL. And of course, they can handle a lot more than forty dollars if that's oh, yeah. what you need to do. So we've been talking about the Islamic State uh, video or what is alleged to be from the Islamic State, the latest horrifying beheading video i screened it earlier today and i'm of mixed um mixed viewpoints kind of personally about okay. watching these things i mean on one hand i understand the point that live leak has made for instance when they have said they won't host these videos on their site live leak is known for being a site that you can go to to see some of the more shocking videos on the internet, the stuff that you're not likely going to see on a YouTube, for instance. But even they won't host the Islamic State videos, and they're you know they're basically saying that by putting that out there, they're creating some kind of a demand for this that they don't want to feed into what the the terrorists allegedly you know want, and that is for people to see these videos. Um, do, do you have any speculation as to why? And I don't know, terrorist, I guess terrorist is the right term in this. They're certainly using terror to, to uh, get what they want. Um, do you know why it is that they would possibly want that? Can, why can would imagine who want what? The, the terrorists ISIS, want people to watch this? Yeah, why would ISIS want people to watch this video? So they, um, I, 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 think, I think they want uh, the military to leave them alone. I Which mean, military? The, the U.S. military. They're stupid then. Yeah. Like this is the worst way to go about this. I've heard that what they're trying to do is attract more people to them. And so therefore, that could be. you know, people that are in for a, in for a holy war um, and, and in for the losing side, uh, you know, that they uh, that's what they're hoping to do uh, is to attract them because ISIS isn't large enough to mount a campaign against Frankly, you know, like a, a full they, they aren't large enough to mount a battle against any sort of Western nation. None, not one of them. And if they want some kind of coalition to come in there and just take over the Middle East so they can clamp down harder, now that that, that makes a certain amount of sense. But, I, you know, I, I don't know. This just leaves me speechless. This is just such a bad idea. Well, they do seem to—I mean, if you and watch evil. the videos, it's it's really hard to answer your question because— they know at the same time that like on what there seem to be two different competing messages that come from the ISIS, the alleged ISIS videos. Okay. One of the messages is that 
they want the government of the United States and Great Britain to F off and leave them alone. But on the other hand, they seem to know that they're going to get more of the invasions and more of the bombings as uh, these beheadings are seen and creating outrage so so they're trying to attract people to their side at the same time they're trying to stop uh you know bombings and stuff on them stop but, military attacks on them but the thing but what i'm saying is they seem to realize at least and i'm not saying that all the videos are produced by the same wings of the islamic state but they do have sort of similar fingerprints the editing's very similar in the way that these things are are put together um but it seems like they're of two mindsets that they would like the bombings to stop, obviously, so they can rule over people in various different areas. They yeah. want to be the state. Uh, but at the same time, they do seem to also understand that that's not going to stop the bombings. And they seem to welcome the continued uh, attacks from the U.S. federal government because that's their chance to have their holy day or whatever, you know. Yeah, well, there's so. going to be a lot of people going to paradise over this one, I'm, I'd have to say. Over this particular video, I don't know. I mean, well, there, okay, so yeah, this there's, is this there's been gets, a lot of beheading videos so far. This gets used as a cudgel, though, um, and it's it's used by because it's Christians this yeah, time. There's a lot of there are a lot of Americans out there. I get emails mm-hmm. of you know from I'm on email I'm on lists where people you know talk about this kind of thing. You know, we hate the Muslims, and this gives huge fuel to that fire 18 Mm -hmm. of our people were just killed mercilessly for no reason by the islamic state this is it this is the christian massacre we needed let's go in there and you know set things straight and whatever it is i mean there are lots of people in the united states millions i'd venture to say that believe that the simple act of being muslim is evil and worthy of death so, Which is terribly wrong. I mean, Muslims, uh, in my experience, are very peaceful folks. Right. But ISIS isn't doing anything to help that narrative. Of right? course not. They're a state. <laughs> they do what states do. They're not and really that is terrorize a state. and kill people. They're, what do you mean they're not really a state? Not if yet. If you call yourself a state, you're a damn state. <laughs> I can call myself a yes, state. Yes, you could. And you'd be a state as long as you're willing to use violence against people. I to get like, your way. If you what makes them not a state? The fact that other states won't recognize that? Yeah, I think uh, you know, sort of legitimacy over time really is what it comes down well, to. Well, when is how much time do you need? I don't how know. much time do you have to rule over a particular plot of land with violence before and call yourself a state before you're considered a state? I don't know. How many countries of the world have to acknowledge you as a state before you're considered in the club? Couldn't tell you. Maybe yeah. half. It's ridiculous. It's all arbitrary. It is. The the whole idea of the state is an imaginary a fiction. It's a fiction. It's something that is nothing more than in your mind. And it's in their mind that they're a state. So why the hell shouldn't they be a state? Okay. They call themselves a state. Certainly. There you go. They act like a state. They look like a state. If it's a duck, you know, or walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. They're a weak state in comparison to some states in the world. They're, they're a state that's going to be crushed, and a lot of people are going to be harmed. A lot of innocent people yeah. are going to be harmed in the process. And this is what I just, I guess I just don't understand. They want to set up this caliphate, uh, this state. as, you, uh, as It's like a religious state, right? Religious state, this caliphate. Um, and, uh, I mean, that there's, it's not going to happen. The United States and, and NATO and the Western powers are just going to sit around while this new upstart violent organization takes over an area of land in the Middle East? No. They're not going to. It doesn't make them any different from uh, the United Nations or any of those other people you just mentioned. What do you mean? I mean, they're they're all states. They're all doing the same thing. I'm not thing. claiming that they're not. I'm yeah. saying, do you think that they're going to sit around and allow this to happen? No, obviously, they're not sitting around, but at the same time, ISIS is still out there. And I don't think that they should do anything about it. I mean, it's none of our it's none of our business here in the United States. So I don't think the U.S. should be getting involved in this at all. If you want to go out and join some sort of military to go in a, or some kind of private marine corps or whatever or mercenaries or whoever if you want to go and support with your own money and with your own time some sort of effort to oust isis from where they've dug in then good luck but well, i don't I want think, anything to do with it i think what the united states should do and other western powers should do is allow people who wish to leave the area to come to the u.s um, of, of the isis to to come to the u.s now like what the would, coptic christians what would isis do in that circumstance i don't know 
Well, if they can't stop them from leaving, then they can't do anything about it. But they can stop them. There's more coming up here at 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Are you hungry for delicious, nutritious, rich, and satisfying home-cooked meals? Discover the Vita Clay 4-in-1 Smart Organic Cooker. Unglazed Zisha Clay, an ancient secret that makes this fast multi-cooker so special. Infusing your food with incredible flavors, perfect texture, vitamins, and minerals for your good help. It's a slow cooker, rice cooker, a steamer, plus a yogurt maker. Go to VitaClayChef.com and enter promo code RADIO20 for 20% off at checkout. That's VitaClayChef.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Fact. The new NSA data center in Utah requires 1.7 million gallons of water every single day to operate. Billions of Fourth Amendment violations need massive computers and the water to cool them. That water is being supplied by the state of Utah. Fact. There's absolutely nothing in the Constitution which requires your state to help the feds violate your rights. Our message to Utah? Turn it off. No water equals no NSA data center. Visit offnow.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, live Sunday edition. Toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. We're gearing up for the Texas Bitcoin Conference. Looking at plane tickets tonight, as a matter of fact. So we are going to be there and we'll be broadcasting live. And you can join us over at the Texas Bitcoin Conference March 28th and 29th at the Moody Theater in downtown Austin, Texas, the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference. We were there at the first one. This one, I think, is going to be even better. They're moving this one right into the heart of downtown Austin, and they're going to have some great 
speakers, including keynote speaker George Gilder. He's a famous investor, economist, and author. Plus, Sambala Nair from IBM, the architect of their blockchain technology, will be flying in from India. David Johnston, as well as Jason King, Robert Murphy, Vitalik Buterin, Charlie Shrem, and others still being lined up. You can go and get all the details on the event at TexasBitcoinConference.com. And don't miss the second million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon while you're there. It's a great way to see the really the brightest of the bright in the Bitcoin community coming up with some fresh ideas right there during the conference. Pretty cool stuff. TexasBitcoinConference.com, you get a $25 discount off their already affordable $150 admission price by using our discount code, which is FTL, like Free Talk Live. So punch in FTL when you go and get your tickets at TexasBitcoinConference.com. Plus, when you do that, another $25 will go to Sean's Outpost, which is a great Bitcoin-based charity helping homeless folks in Florida. So again, TexasBitcoinConference.com, March 28th and 29th. We'll look forward to seeing you there. Let's go to Crichton. He's in... Kentucky, listening to us via Roku. Hey, Crichton. How's it going? Welcome, sir. I wanted to call in about you uh, guys having a, your conversation about what makes a modern state. And okay. I wanted to point out that there is a feature of a modern state that is required that ISIS lacks. What's that? It's not just, it's not just that a crime syndicate takes over a geographical area and it declares itself a state. It's also required that other crime syndicates recognize that they're a state. It's kind of like a peer kind of thing. They don't have to recognize them as, as, as Yes, they have to. So other other crime syndicates have to agree that they're a state first. Just because they call themselves How a many? state doesn't make it so. How many other I, states have to agree? One? Two? Uh, three? That that depends on your perspectives, but ISIS has zero. Well, I don't know. I mean, have uh, has all one hundred and eighty some or ninety some uh, countries been polled about their opinions regarding the Islamic yes. State? Yes, they have. It's an ongoing poll. Who's where, doing that? Where poll? is it? Where is it? It's it's the the uh, the system of of uh, of representatives that. The, not representatives, but they call them and uh, they travel over to the other country to represent your country. Team of the UN? Exchange. Uh, no, where, where they. There's a word, and I'm having diplomats? a brain lock, where they Diplomats, where they exchange diplomats. Yeah, they don't have a diplomat representing their, their, their crime syndicate inside their territory. They are not recognized as a state. That's just the way it is. So as long as uh, so so you don't really have an opinion then as far as how many states just as long as at least one state is recognizing the Islamic state then then that would be good enough you think? Uh, I I think it takes at least one but mm-hmm. that doesn't happen hasn't happened yet. Okay. So if they were to go into another country and then take over the state of, let's just say, they invade a small nation, let's say Andorra, one of the, the smaller places out there. We know there have been attacks in France, and Andorra's relatively uh, nearby there in the, what, the Pyrenees Mountains, I think. Right. So uh, let's say they take over the entirety of Andorra's governmental operations by force, which is how states defeat other states, is, uh, is by force. And uh, and then then they're operating the government of Andorra, and then the government of Andorra then acknowledges the Islamic State as a state. Would that be good enough? Nope, because the government of Andorra just ceased to exist. They took over the buildings. They're uh, the same. What's the damn difference? <laughs> the difference is, I guess it's a matter of perspective. But the, the difference is, is that once Andorra was conquered mm. by an outside force, they ceased to exist. They're no, no longer— So the state of Andorra it no longer exists so long as all of them have been exterminated. What if they keep a couple of puppets around? So they could then keep you know, the prime minister or whoever the hell is in charge over there in Andorra, keep him around with a gun to his back, and uh, he just keeps you know, walking around doing whatever it is they tell him to do. And, of course, you don't know that they're you know, putting that level of coercion on him. Let's say he, he pretends that he's converted to uh, Islam and loves the Islamic State, and he is handing over the keys to his country to the Islamic State. Does that make it legitimate then? 
and make it makes it look legitimate. And I, I wouldn't even use <laughs> this the word, is it's all arbitrary. Well, all of this, it's state craft, and I think that that's what's being uh, talked about. State here. crap is more like it. Okay, fine, you can call it state crap um, if you want, but that's you know there, there's there's a millennia behind state craft, uh, many many years behind what it what it is that and how it's make done. Violence more legitimate just because they've been doing it for a long time. There are some similarities. It makes it appears more illegitimate. It, the appearance of legitimacy is what makes it legitimate, according right. to their own eyes. That is the definition right there. Well, I mean, to me, they're all illegitimate, so I'm I'm willing to acknowledge them as a state just because they want to be a state. Anyway, okay. thanks, Crichton, for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I mean, I understand the point. Obviously, if you get other countries to recognize you as a state, then that certainly helps with people traveling and passports and you know, all the things that are sort of typical of states in today's day. But I don't know. I don't think that you have to have other states acknowledging you to be a state. But that's just my opinion. What's yours? 855-450-FREE. It seems to me that there's... Uh the like states are all about legitimacy like that's what it's at their core and he's talking about the legitimacy of a state you're talking are they all about, about that what about the north korean state are they really concerned with their legitimacy i think that they're concerned with their legitimacy sure i mean yeah. they want to look very you know they, they don't want to just be north korea they want to be korea like you're not even supposed to say north korea when you go to uh, north korea yeah the people's republic of korea yeah mm -hmm. and uh, you're just supposed to say korea or, you know, People's Republic of Korea or whatever. And that, uh, you know, they're so concerned about legitimacy, they believe they control land mass that they don't control. Well, I mean, I guess you could argue they're concerned about legitimacy within their boundaries, but they certainly don't look particularly legitimate to most observers, now do they? And a state can protect its uh, borders? Like they don't have you fooled, right? North they don't Korea. Have they don't have the average person oh, in I the think world they're a, fooled. They're a state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think North Korea is a state. I'm not denying that. Okay. I'm saying that they're, they're I would I would question their legitimacy. If if being a state is about having legitimacy, the North Korean state's doing a pretty piss poor job of it. I think that no state really has legitimacy. Um I that's I, I have a difficult time talking about legitimacy because the fact is North Korea has the land it has by having fought reasonably successfully in the Korean War. The United States has the landmass it has because it fought reasonably successfully in the Revolutionary War mm -hmm. and in throughout the Indian Wars uh, that, that followed. So it, it has its landmass and maintains its landmass through force and violence. That's right, if you, just like ISIS. If you can't... Uh, if you can't maintain your uh, governance through support and the consent of the governed, then I don't think you really have legitimate govern governance. And that, by that, I mean the consent of every individual. If you can't, every individual, every individual who is one of your citizens, yes. Um, therefore, if I can't or you well, can't, that, most no state has the consent of every. That's individual. why I don't think states are uh, legitimate. Uh, how how can you? Well, by definition, states are legitimate because legitimates. Uh, the legal. root word there is legal, yeah. which is all about states. I don't have another term for it. I don't have a better term to describe what I think their moral standing is, uh, you know, in the world. As far as I'm concerned, if you have to use violence to keep your citizens as citizens, you're not legitimate. You're a you're damn a kidnapper. You're a state. That's what states do. I'm not saying I think it's legitimate. I don't think it's legitimate, which is why they're all the same to me. That's why ISIS is no different than North Korea, is no different than the United States, is no different than Canada at a fundamental level. Now, the difference is that, uh, and I and Crichton was touching on this, is that in the United States, they have an aura of legitimacy. People believe in the system yeah. in the United States. They bought into it hook, line, and sinker. And that's not to say that ISIS doesn't have people who believe in it as well. Surely they do. The ratios may be a little bit different. Or maybe a lot different. 855, 450 free, but none of that changes the fact that they rule by violence, and that's what states do. So they're qualified. But share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. There's more coming up. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a...
for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturing. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. The live Sunday edition continues here. Plenty of time for you to dial in toll-free to bring up anything you want at 855-450-FREE. Coming up, a middle school student has the FBI called on him for throwing a flag a U.S. flag out of a window. Speaking of religions, uh, of course, the state is, to me, we're talking about the legitimacy of states and what makes a state a state. And, you know, you're welcome to share your opinion here at 855-450 free. But there's also a big similarity to me between the state and religion. I think that belief in the state is tantamount to a religious belief. And so we'll see how some people react when their religious icon, the flag, is not treated in the way that they are expecting it to be. So we can talk about that coming up here in a little bit. Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. We've been talking about the new video released ostensibly by ISIS showing the beheadings of approximately 21 individuals who are apparently Egyptian Coptic Christians 
which is a fairly popular f- uh, form of Christianity in Egypt, from what I understand. I was yeah. doing a little reading on that. Uh, something like 10% of Egyptians, uh, I guess, are considered Coptic Christians, and it is the most popular form of Christianity in the Middle East, maybe, I think is what I read. But Sounds right. Uh, we'll continue with the discussion here. Your thoughts are welcome on anything you want to talk about. Dave is in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dave. Yeah, there's a little uh, victory to report for local talk radio in <clears throat> New Hampshire. Um, there's been this story that's been sort of uh, gurgling underneath the attention of the uh, the mainstream press, even the local mainstream press, and only talk radio and examiner.com seems to have been covering it. Um, but you, you may remember when the, the Wyndham School District in, in New Hampshire, it's in southern New Hampshire, they were kind of uh, briefly famous for trying to turn down a donation of U.S. constitutions a while back. Um, and more recently, the scandals have involved uh, an attempt to uh, push through a no-bid contract without really anyone having a chance to look at it or review it. Sound like a bunch of uh, real sweethearts. Yeah, and w- the worst part was that when uh, or, you know there was someone actually attending the meeting, a resident of Wyndham, and he said, wait, no, you've got to... You, there's a process, law, RSA, they called the police on him. And, so wait, he was uh, saying there's a process to put this contract out for bid? You can't just do a no-bid contract? Something along those lines. Yeah. I don't know if it's, if all no-bid contracts are forbidden, but this is a gigantic so contract. So they said, sir, you are out of order. Sir, you are out of order. Cut his mic. That kind of thing? I think it was six, yeah, I think it was a $600,000 contract. I mean, I, I guess they must not have even been taking any kind of public comment. The only way he could say anything was to probably Start to shouting. raise his hand from the audience. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway, they didn't actually arrest him, um, but it made the news mm-hmm. in the in the very, in this very local limited sense, you know, on talk radio. And um, what's happened just over the last week, I think, uh, this, this company that was trying to get this shady, apparently shady, uh, deal has withdrawn, so the whole thing has fallen through even before even before it's gotten into the mainstream press. Hmm. Okay. Was so, there more you wanted to tell us? Uh, no, that's it. Just a little victory to report, and there's one of those things that you know you and I never. So had the victory in. is that the contract fell through. I mean, that's just more of an Correct. accident than anything else, right? Like it, that wasn't oh, the plan. Okay. Actually, there is one more thing, and that is that apparently it started. It may have started something of a domino effect because the Rochester School District is also they've contacted that company and, and pulled out of the contract uh, as this media, as this small media storm uh, was starting. So uh, I, this the company is called Synergistic. It starts with a C, um, and uh, it's just you know the, the people people smell the rat, and uh, if there if there was a rat, it's Scene. So you are attributing some of this to the fact that some independent or talk radio, independent media and talk radio has focused on this. Yeah, there's a, a program in Manchester called Gerard at Large, which is uh, really, I mean, it's really neat because they focus on local stuff and not like most local talk radio that talks about national stuff mm-hmm. from local perspective. It's really just they really just focused on these school boards and and. Uh, and other local news. That is really so, the best way to run your talk show if you're going to do one in some local area because people are so underserviced when it comes to local politics. Many of them don't even don't they have no clue who their city councilors are. They have no clue about this stuff. And talk radio can give people a real insight to it. And uh, a talk sh- a, a local talk celebrity somebody who wishes to take on these issues and understand them intimately can uh, that station can become very important that that talk show host can be mm-hmm. become very important well thanks for bringing yeah, that to the free- forefront dave uh and of course you are dave ridley from ridleyreport.com have you reported on this on your channel nope uh i've just uh, wanted to call and tell you about it i don't have any video to match mm-hmm. you know this is, it doesn't belong in the ridley report because i don't have any video for it but uh uh, it, it's one of those things where I like to take something that is getting a certain amount of attention, or attention, but not from the mainstream press, and, and kind of raise it up to where it's starting to get, you know, attention from the mainstream press or from you guys. So, what's happening over at RidleyReport.com? I mean, if folks go there, uh, is there something that's going to be fresh coming up soon? Some new posts of yours? I haven't uploaded any real new material for I guess at least three days. I ran out of advertisers this month, so I oh won't no. 
the end uh, of the month. All right. So how can people uh, help you out, Dave? Go to RidleyReport.com, get in touch with you that way. Oh, thanks. Uh, RidleyReport.com, yeah. I think you do good work. That's why I've been uh, – what have I been advertising with you for, like, almost a decade? It seems like a long time. Yeah, you're awesome. Thanks for the call tonight, Dave. Appreciate hearing okay. from you. A lot of people, when they come to New Hampshire – and you know they've moved here maybe as part of the Free State Project, which is the uh, the idea of moving liberty-minded people, 20,000 of them, all to the same place and the same state, New, New Hampshire, having them get active for freedom when they get here. Dave's an early mover for the Free State Project. I am. Mark, you are as well. Uh, He's got, early, earlier than us. Yep. We've got over 1,600 people here in New Hampshire now as part of the Free State Project. When you talk to people, there are a lot of people who inevitably will say they heard about the Free State Project from maybe listening to Free Talk Live, um, but also Dave Ridley is a huge, huge way for people finding out what we're doing here in New Hampshire and getting excited about it and coming here. There are countless people who have said they've come to New Hampshire because of Dave Ridley. So the guy does awesome work, and he's a one-man band. I mean, he's a one-man media awesome guy i don't know how better to describe him he just does it he gets out there he records he edits he uploads he hosts you know he does the whole thing all on his own and it's incredible it's his uh determination and and dedication to the craft that uh, amazes me he's really been on been doing it for a long time and before he did ridley report he was uh you know professionally trained he did work for fox news i believe out of boston and has worked at you know actual television news operations yep. and so he's got his chops down you know he knows the business and that's why he's the number two video channel news channel uh, on YouTube for New Hampshire, which is pretty great. So it's WMUR, which is the big, you know, licensed FCC licensed TV station in Manchester, is number one, and number two, Dave, Dave Ridley. Ridley. So RidleyReport.com, really love that guy. Does great work. We're going to continue here. We were talking about the uh, Islamic State video, or what is alleged to be an Islamic State video. The Al Jazeera has a story about this, uh, saying that at least 20 Egyptian workers were seized earlier this year from the coastal town of Sirte in eastern Libya, and indeed 21 Egyptian Coptic Christians have now been beheaded in this video by ISIS. The video is titled, A Message Signed with Blood to the Nation of the Cross, and says the killings were directed at, quote, the hostile Egyptian church, unquote. Speaking in English, a fighter from the group says the beheadings... Because the... Uh, uh, <laughs> Because the Coptic Christians, who represent 10% of the Egyptian population, are a real, a real problem for ISIS. Speaking in English, a fighter from the group says the beheadings were revenge for what he says were Muslim women persecuted by Coptic crusaders in Egypt. I wonder uh, what he's referring to there. Is he talking about something that's fairly recent? Uh, You'd think so from that. You, you would think so. So I'm curious to know more about that. In the wake of the killings... Uh, their, the president of Egypt wanted you know, national security and seven days of mourning and blah, blah, blah. Egypt's Coptic Orthodox Church said it was confident that those who beheaded the hostages would be punished. They said in a statement on their Facebook page, quote, The Orthodox Church is confident its homeland would not rest until the evil perpetrators get their fair retribution for their wicked crime. Al-Hazar, the prestigious Cairo-based seat of Islamic learning, denounced the barbaric killings. Quote, uh, so this is a Muslim group saying, yeah. Al-Hazar stresses that such barbaric action has nothing to do with any religion or human values, it said in a statement. Libya has slid into chaos after longtime leader Muammar Gaddafi was overthrown and killed three years ago as interim authorities failed to confront powerful militias which fought to oust the veteran leader. Taking advantage of the chaos, ISIS has carried out a string of deadly attacks. In Libya. Yes. Toll free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. You can share your thoughts. If you want to see the video, it's up over on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. For how long it will stay there, I don't know, because, you know, these things tend to get taken down by the video hosts. So it's there for now. 855-450-FREE, and it's pretty gross, so your discretion is advised. Highly advised. Uh, more coming up here on Free Talk Live Sunday Show. 
Get to Lumber Liquidator's spring flooring kickoff sale and save on all the latest hardwood flooring trends. Get the hot new look of gray flooring plus 80 more styles of laminate from 49 cents. Check out gorgeous matte finished hardwood from Bellawood or choose from more than 200 styles of pre-finished hardwood from 169 plus deals on distressed floors and over 70 styles of bamboo from 179 and get 18 months special financing for deals on over 400 floors. Get to the spring flooring kickoff sale. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Cabina lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something facebook.freetalklive.com you're listening to the live edition of free talk live hour number two is next after the news here on the liberty radio network at lrn.fm from Keene in the shire the liberty media capital of the world this is daryl w perry host of fpp radio news for sunday february 15th 2015 Silver is trading at $17.36 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,230 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $248. Antiwar.com reports President Obama hasn't gotten approval yet for his intentionally vague authorization for the use of military force against the Islamic State. But the Pentagon is already scrambling to escalate its military presence in the region in preparation of the ground war it would start. Over 4,000 ground combat troops from Fort Carson's 3rd Brigade are being sent to Kuwait under this new deployment, where they will make up the region's largest collection of U.S. ground troops, which will include heavy armored vehicles. Even as President Obama continues to deny plans for a ground war, it's not a secret what the troops are being sent to Kuwait for, and the officials say they're prepared for any contingency, which in this context means a fight with the Islamic State. The White House has admitted as much earlier this week as well, following up President Obama's Tuesday pledge not to get involved in a ground war with talk of flexibility and dismissing the authorization for use of military force pledge to avoid enduring offensive ground combat operations as literally meaningless, saying they have no definition at all of the word enduring. Whatever enduring means, the troops from Fort Carson are about to find out, and officials are either waiting for the authorization for the use of military force or some other ready-made emergency with the ANBAR troops to launch the ground war. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs offers premium publicity campaigns designed to facilitate an organization's adoption of Bitcoin as a payment system and to fully capitalize on that decision in their fundraising efforts. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. The Wall Street Journal reports, according to a federal document posted online Friday, federal regulators plan to propose rules that would limit commercial drone flights to below 500 feet, daytime operating hours, and within sight of the operator while also requiring operators to pass written exams. The FAA's proposed rules would herald a significant expansion of commercial drone flights in the U.S. by allowing such flights as long as they comply with a set of standards, including the height limitations and operator requirements, according to a 79-page 
economic analysis of the proposed rules, which has yet to be officially published. The FAA has virtually banned commercial drone flights, approving just 26 operators on a case-by-case -case basis in recent months. A drone user spotted the economic analysis on a federal website Friday night and saved it before it was taken down. A government official could not confirm the veracity of the entire document, but said the main details of the flight limitations and pilot certification were accurate. The FAA said it plans to release proposed rules, which have undergone review from other government agencies on Sunday, nearly four years behind schedule. The proposed rules will undergo a public review once published and likely will not be made final until late 2016. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports private Chelsea Manning, formerly Bradley Manning, has been approved for hormone therapy by the U.S. Army. Manning was convicted of leaking classified military documents to the journalistic organization WikiLeaks in 2013 and is currently serving a 35-year sentence with the possibility of parole. Manning announced in August of 2013 that she is a woman. In September of last year, Manning sued the Department of Defense for denying hormone therapy. Private Manning is being represented by the American Civil Liberties Union. Colonel Erica Nelson, the commandant of the Fort Leavenworth Disciplinary Barracks in Kansas, wrote in a February 5th memo obtained by USA Today, after carefully considering the recommendations that hormone therapy is medically appropriate and necessary and weighing all associated safety and security risk presented, I approve adding hormone therapy to inmate Manning's treatment plan. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Publicists everywhere agreed this week that the nation's celebrities are in dire need of more fame, stressing that all six billion of the world's populace should know every U.S. celebrity by name and face by now. Publicists are calling for an emergency influx of buzz, heat, press, and word of mouth to be administered to the nation's celebrities immediately in order to prevent crucial fame levels from becoming dangerously low. Novelist Edward Milligan told reporters this week that in his new book, By the Water's Edge, he has fleshed out in meticulous detail his own huge and stunningly shitty world. Using in-depth research and the power of his own imagination, Milligan was able to conjure out of thin air every hackneyed character, trite street name, and horse backstory in the fictional town of Connors Cove. The complete f***ing hack proudly said he has created a universe that readers will feel they can actually reach out and touch. Sources say the prolific writer has not yet been punched repeatedly in the face. In other news, McDonald's opens a new senior citizen play place. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like here on the live Sunday edition of the program. The toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, stoned animals. Got a story from Boing Boing about why it is that animals eat psychoactive plants. I have uh, observed on the air previously that they do this, but why do they do it? Uh, we can get into that here in a little bit. But, Mark, you've got a story about a young boy or man, young man, old boy, middle school age. 14 year old. 14. Okay. I didn't realize that's old for middle school. I thought you said this was middle school. It would be the last year of middle school. I guess. Yeah. I guess some middle schools cut off at different times than true. others anyway he's in trouble with the fbi or at least they called the fbi on him the school is certainly giving him a hard time for throwing a united states flag out of a window and that is what uh, you wanted to discuss so pull that up but first doug is in chicago doug you're on free talk live with ian and mark hi how you doing hey doug you know, here, here can be what i'm talking about i called in about a month ago about a friend who had you know um the chicago landmark commission where they were redoing their home and they ran afoul of Chicago Landmark Commission. They mm. didn't want them doing anything with the home, at the, you know, to keep the integrity intact, even though they bought it. We're living in a country now where people feel that they have the right to not be offended. And, you know, I look at the flag being a cloth. You know, that can be burned, that can be torn, that can be whatever. But our value being a country, which can be liberty and freedom, 
that you can't take away. You know what I mean? That you can't burn. That you can't tear. And that should be the important thing. You know. Yeah, I mean, part of the the protecting the fabric is, uh, you know, you have to you have to diminish that liberty and freedom to some extent. Uh, the people that that fought for the flag, and that's always the the first thing that's trotted out. Those people fought for the right of people in North America to express themselves freely, and that includes defiling the flag or whatever. Right, right. I come from a military family, and, you know, I don't hear them ever tell me, you know, oh, I, I fought for that flag. I hear other people mention it, but yeah. you're not fighting for the flag. You're fighting for the liberty and the freedom, which— No, you're not. You know, no, not as, no, a, no. Not as American military. They're, you're fighting for politicians. Well, that we can go into a whole different debate. But, I mean, if you're defending the country from an attack, you know, I mean, you kind of are— def- you're But that's not what they're doing, right? Freedom. I mean, they're not actually defending I anybody. think they signed up to defend liberty and those sorts of mm. things. Yeah, but that's not what they're right. actually doing. I mean, let's be realistic right. here. They're following the orders of politicians who, of course, are only doing things that benefit the politicians, uh, not anyone else. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. And I look at it, too, kind of like Mark brought up the issue of looking at the flag and the government being like a religion. I think that that can be a huge issue, too, with it. I mean, when you when you treat the government like a religion, they can't do no wrong. And look at all the unaccountability we have here. You know, when when people are, like, blinded by their faith in the government and mm-hmm. looking at it like a religion, they're not going to hold it accountable. They kind of look the other way. I mean, I'm sure you've talked to people, and they're like, well, if you don't like the country, you can leave. Really, that can be the only argument you can throw out there, that if I don't like the country, I can leave. They're, like, blinded That's by all right. the trouble that we have. and. I think that that can be part of it too. You know, well, but. the the, the I usually what I consider the if you don't like this country, leave is the the difference between making something good and making something better. Um, in you know, to some extent, in order to to have the best thing, all you have to do is be better than the the next closest competitor. Right. So right. in that same way, you could you could value and extol the best form of the least deadly form of cancer. Well, I wouldn't do that because I think generally cancer is bad. Um, in, in the same way, I think that ruling through force and violence is, you know, sort of what the state does. Um, and, uh, you know, that's not a good thing. Now, honestly, I understand that violence will always be with us if you have private property you're going to have violence because some people are going to want it and some people are not going to want to give it up. But I think that really the, the, the base problem with, uh, with states or countries or nations or whatever it is, is that they won't allow their monopolies and they won't allow people to take their property, break off, become their own nation and start a competing area. Like what if I want to get together with some friends and neighbors and we want to start, you know, Liberty land and try things a little differently than they are done here in the United States. Well, you can't do that. Uh, we're just not allowed to do that. You have to continue to pay your money to the, you know, the state and the municipality and the federal government and all that stuff. And those are ultimately it's about secession, and that's the biggest problem. Right. I, I think I think that the kids should be punished for taking, you know, private property that didn't belong to them. But I mean, to, to really, who who did I read up on it? I, it had been the teacher, I think, that would really turn him into the FBI, the principal, and that would like the kid. Yeah, well, I mean, come on. I mean, yeah, number one, they're not going to get anywhere with it. The court they've ruled time after yeah. time that you can burn the American flag, you can Big tear waste it up, of time. you can do whatever. But I mean, I, I find it funny that the people who come out and, and tell you, you know, well, if you don't like the country, you should try moving to North Korea. That can be your only ar- argument. You know, I mean, we want to improve liberty and freedom for the people here, and your only argument can be that you know you lower the bar all the way down to a totally totalitarian government like north korea right good good points tonight doug thank you for the call i do appreciate hearing from you 855 450 free is our toll-free number the idea that if you don't like this country you should leave is really myopic it's very short-sighted um and let me give a comparison there was a man named bosch who created the uh the the fuel plug Oh, well, no. Yes, his his name's on a lot of stuff, <laughs> and he has uh, it's he was closely related with Mercedes Benz. Ah, okay. Um, but he created the fuel injector. Now he didn't hate cars because he thought that there was something more efficient than the carburetor. Yeah. He wanted to see improvements in 
people's lives. Honestly, you know, he wanted to improve the, improve the automobile, thus improving transportation, thus improving people's lives. The man made a real difference. He didn't hate cars, right? And anybody who said, you hate cars, is a mouth-breathing moron. Mm-hmm. You know, like to, to address a guy who wants to change the way that uh, the cars run? No, that's ridiculous. If that's your... If you don't like the cars, you can walk. If you don't like cars, you can walk. You need to change a car. And while these same people generally want to see the government changed, right, they just don't like the way that you don't like it. This is a messaging issue. Part of it is is the whole um, somebody out there has said there's this anti-American crowd. They hate the way we live. And there's that part of it. And the other part is is that, um, you know, the folks that really don't uh, appreciate uh, nations, organizations that claim monopoly privilege on the use of violence in a given landmass, Well, they need to massage their messages, too, in order to fit into the paradigm of people who, uh, you know, who who have bought into the uh, there's anti-Americans out there skulking around behind every bushes with 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 bombs in their hands, ready to ruin our way of life. You know, you got to you got to communicate to folks like that. You have to be able to put your message in a way that they can understand. And it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do every single day here on Free Talk Live is to, you know, make my message better. But there's, I, I can always slip down into the rhetoric, uh, and it's it, it gets difficult. It's difficult. So, Mark, let's jump into the story. He kind of teased it there. We actually haven't really given much detail out about this uh, middle schooler who is in a bit of hot water. Yeah, the story I have is from the Free Thought Project at freethoughtproject.com. And they're a libertarian organization, so they're going to have that lean to them as far yep. as verbiage goes. I like them and uh, wish to support them, but you know, just saying it's, it's not exactly written like a news article is. Out of uh, Española. But they usually cite an actual news article. They Oftentimes usually will they do. link to something. Española, New Mexico, an Española middle school principal, Robert R. Chuleta, is... Uh, do you want to say it, Ian? Go on. <laughs> you like to use yourself a Spanish accent. <laughs> the, the gentleman does apparently have... He has a, an accent uh, that makes makes him sound like he's of Hispanic origin. Okay. So, anyway. Is contacting the FBI to try to get a student expelled after some students were caught misbehaving. And one... 14-year-old allegedly took it too far. So these uh, these kids were, they were having a grand old time in the classroom. They definitely got out of hands. They were throwing like erasers and books and things out the window. You know, it yeah. was, yeah, yeah, I, I know you'd love that stuff. Um, <laughs> like, you know, you shouldn't, if this is how you want to act in the classroom, you shouldn't be there. Mm-hmm. Like this was, uh, this is young people not taking responsibility for their actions, in my opinion. Well, it could also be young people being bored to tears with a really yeah. terrible teacher and awful curriculum and terrible textbooks and have they've had it up to here and they're finally revolting. Yeah, the um, there's one thing that's uh, consistent with kids that hate school. It's the fact that they're in school. All right, there's more coming up here. We'll talk about the rest of the story, 855 450 free. Uh, that is the toll-free number here, 855-450-3733. A lot of people, a lot of students are frustrated with school. In fact, uh, Derek J. Freeman, our own uh, Monday Night co-host, recently wrote an article suggesting that they get out of school. There's more coming up here. It's Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. 
According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about whatever you'd like by dialing in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm, so do send a contact request first, it'll be approved, and then after that, easy for you to call in and get on the air and sound almost like you're in the studio in some cases. So again, Skype usernames lrn.fm. If you drink coffee, I've got a way you can improve your life. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. There, you can sign up for a subscription program. You can cancel it at any time. You can get your free pound and go. But... If you do sign up, you can get a free pound of 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica bean, shade-grown coffee. It's it's made by BuzzBox, and it is delicious. This is the coffee I drink and every day, and it is awesome. It's so much better than the sort of store-bought coffee that you're going to get. You haven't experienced coffee. Well, you may have experienced coffee this good, but you probably haven't consistently experienced coffee this good. So that's why I'm encouraging you to go there. If you continue uh, getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, you'll upgrade your coffee experience, probably have a healthier experience because it's organic, and you will be helping us to help people around the world because for everybody who purchase co- purchases coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, some of the profits are sent back to us so that we can then loan them out through microloans through kiva.org. We've helped dozens of people uh, around the world to get micro loans to be able to do a variety of different things. In some cases, a guy needed his uh, car fixed, and uh, so that he could do taxi work. 
And, uh, you know, people, some lady needed cows. She needed to upgrade her, her herd to make more milk and, um, you know, hamburger and those sorts of things. So we're able to help people around the world, and we're able to do it because you get your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. So upgrade your experience and help people at the same time. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. So, Mark, you were telling us about a story, and where was this taking place again? New Mexico. New Mexico, where at a government middle school, a young man is in trouble, as well as other people is in, are in trouble. Not right? really. It sounded like there was more than one person involved in well, this. Well, they're in trouble, but not like he's in trouble. Okay. For throwing things out the window at the school. They were throwing erasers and books uh, out the window. Yep. That's where we were kind of left the story. And then he, uh, four rambunctious students were throwing workbooks and erasers out of their eighth grade classroom window when one student grabbed the flag and tossed it out the window and uh, into the snow with the other items. The enraged principal contacted the school resource officer, presumably to have him arrested, but believing it to be a federal offense, he was referred to the FBI. <laughs> the uh, principal, Archuleta, uh, that's not a federal offense, though. It's just, if there's an offense, it's just against the, you well, know, he's stolen school property or whatever. There is a federal law about desecrating the flag. Really? But there's a Supreme Court ruling that says that, you know, basically that burning the flag is uh, freedom of speech or something like that. So, okay. so the law's been undone but still on the books is what you're that, saying I, that's the way i see it okay. but uh you know the any supreme court that decides to hear the case may change their mind on what they see you know that's right. just sort of the nature of it we don't have we laws aren't you know they aren't universal laws they're just opinions about crap written on paper sure so anyway uh, robert archuleta the principal says a lot of men have died over the flag men and women uh, he's pointlessly. A yeah, he's a veteran. Well, a lot have died uh, pointlessly, and yep. you know, some have died for what they believe to be very good causes. Uh, we fought to keep our country safe and to keep it free. He's he's he is a veteran, so mm -hmm. he's referring to himself in that uh, in that um, in that we yeah that we. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, he also he caught he he said to keep it free, and one of those freedoms is to sort of have your opinion around. You know what the policies are of the federal government, and if you wish to express that opinion through desecrating your flag, not somebody else's, yeah, um, I think that that is totally something you should be able to do. Now, in this case, this kid uh, acting out, he's 14. Um, I would say that this is. I think I think it's ridiculous that this principal went so far as calling the FBI on this is nonsense. Um, I imagine the FBI told him that this we're not going to handle anything. We're not. I don't, we don't know what uh, the conversation was like at this okay. point. Uh, I mean, if the school principal— he didn't get charged with a federal crime, though. Not at this point, no. Okay. If the school principal can't handle a disciplinary issue with a student handle, uh, throwing a flag out a window, I mean, I just don't know. Like, what are you in the job for? This is your opportunity. Well, I mean, he could handle it by giving detention or something like that. Have him stand um, out. I mean, if you really want to do something horrible to the kids, have him stand out in front of the school holding a flag. But what he wanted to do was have some sort of punishment in the criminal justice system. Yeah, he this. wants to go a step further. You've done something so horrible. I believe prison is what you deserve, young man. Well, that's the only thing. I mean, right. That's what would likely happen in uh, if there were some kind of charge that could be brought against him. Now, he's 14, so he's not going to go to adult prison over it, and odds are good he'll take some sort of plea deal even if he were charged and probably spend no real time in any kind of holding facility over this. Right. But uh, nonetheless— Be nothing but embittered and <laughs> not have learned anything in the process. Nonetheless, people get upset about this because you are des desecrating a religious icon. I mean, that would be the— It's pretty close. This is tantamount to setting a Bible on fire. I mean, that the people feel the same way about the flag as they do their religious books and texts and I icons. think you might find more people upset about a flag burning than a Bible burning, frankly. I could be wrong on That's that. That's probably true because even atheists believe in this. A lot of atheists believe in the state. And I'm talking about people in the United States because there's yeah. probably plenty of people around the world that care about Bible burnings that care less about U.S. flag burnings. This is true. But you and I have burned U.N. flags. That's absolutely true. Yeah, we had the UN flag a, burn on a yearly basis up here for a while. I don't know what happened to it, but I don't I have a particular happened. problem with that. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not looking back and uh, feeling bad about having done that. Fine, fine. I also have no problem with burning the U.S. flag. I personally won't do it because the issue with that is that people don't understand when they see that happening. 
they don't process what it what it means you know even if the artist who's burning the flag has some sort of artist statement uh, that they're releasing they can uh, care less yeah the people who are driving by don't understand that they don't get the subtleties uh, of what is going on and they're not interested in learning as soon as no. that flag gets set on uh, set ablaze any interest in actually having a conversation is over so but- while i support the action i don't think that i would perf- uh, th- that i would perform it I, I guess. I support the free speech aspect of it, however. As far as I'm concerned, flags are military uh, war banners. Um, so I don't have a particular problem with it either. But I tend to come down the same side as you, is, is that the, it doesn't forward the conversation in the way that I'd like to. However, I would point out that b- flag burning does catch the attention of people who otherwise simply wouldn't be listening. So if you're well, still not going to listen to you, well, what percentage are you talking about? So if you catch, there's a group of people who are not going to listen to your message, whatever your message is. Yep. And you catch those people's attention. Ninety percent of those people do not listen to your message and think you, um, you know, evil and awful. And ten percent do listen to your message and like, huh? Well, he's got a bit of a point. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean, you're talking about you've created a lot of people who disagree with you and a few people who may agree with you. I mean, you know, it's really just your value and what it is you wish to create to some extent. Now, I don't think this young man did much of anything other than, you know. He wasn't making a political statement. We don't know what he was doing. Like, we only get a story about a kid throwing a uh, flag out of a window. It sounds like he was throwing a bunch of stuff out the window, though. So, I mean, a flag, you can grab that and throw it, right? And this is how I feel about the U.S. public school system. Like, we didn't didn't hear those things. Yeah, they should have made a video. Come on, guys. If you're going to do something with the flag, you should make a video at the very least. Uh, Because you could go viral. I mean, put that thing on YouTube. What do you think? Flag burning? 855 450 3733. Free Talk Live. Yeah, more coming up. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Get updates on your favorite GCN shows and hosts. Go to GCNlive.com and click on the banner in the upper left corner. Just for signing up, you're automatically entered for monthly giveaways. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. I just heard the best sales pitch I've heard in a long time on an airplane. The flight attendant announced, if you paid more than $75 for your round trip ticket, you overpaid. This is brilliant because everybody on the flight paid more. And I was struck by how all the road warriors stopped typing and reading and working and looked up. The announcement invited us to apply for the airline's credit card. And the sign-up bonus? Enough frequent flyer miles for a free round trip. Talk about turning lemons into lemonade. With some banks offering free credit cards, $75 is an outrage for an annual fee, but a bargain for airline tickets. For more tips on communicating more effectively, hit survivalspeech.com, where you can see how I got the CEO of another major airline to shower me with freebies. I'm Holland Cook. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. 
Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. How dare you and who do you think you are? I mean, it's my life. It's my business. I should be able to run it how I want to, and my customers should be able to make the choice for themselves as to whether or not they want to do business with me. And they should be able to make that choice based on uh, the quality of my product or my reputation or the fact that I've got third-party certification or whatever factors they deem important. If I'm doing business and you don't trust me or you think I'm shady, then you don't have to do business with me. In fact, you can tell other people what you think about my business and my practices and maybe they also will join you in not doing business with me. There's no need for government regulations out there. The marketplace can handle third-party certification of various different products and services to where people who are concerned about whether or not the business they're dealing with is trustworthy can check with a verifiable resource that, indeed, this is a trustworthy individual or a trustworthy company that you're doing business with. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday edition of the program. We'll take your calls about anything you want to discuss at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, why animals eat psychoactive plants. Yes, they like to get high just like people do. Shocking? 855-450-FREE is the number here. You can share your thoughts. You can also join us via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Mark, you've been to Vegas a few times in life. Yeah. You enjoy, enjoy the it. hell out of it. Yeah, I like it. I, I like going to Vegas. And now you can do it for 10% off. Some bottom of the barrel like prices here the, the, for the best service for like incredible deals on headliner shows, tours, attractions, VIP bottle service at top clubs, hotel prices, it's all available through Vegas.com. So the, the lowest of the lows as far as prices, but the highest quality places uh, that you can go and the things that you can go and do. They've got it all seemingly over at Vegas.com. And these guys at Vegas.com serve up Vegas from the inside, meaning they live, they work, and they party in Vegas. So they know the movers and shakers. They know the deal setters. And when the prices drop in Vegas, the prices drop at Vegas.com. And you can also get their drop watch feature, which is proprietary, and you know, nobody else has this, that monitors the price after you've booked, and they will notify you of changes in the price to ensure that you get the best deal. So you book at the lower rate, and then they'll refund you the difference over at Vegas.com. They do the work for you. They've got your back, and you'll get 10% off. They're already low, low prices over at Vegas.com when you use code FTL at checkout. So put it in the promo box at checkout to get the extra 10% off everything on the site except for their air hotel packages. That's because they can't get the price off of the uh, the airlines. But uh, So anything else that's there except for air hotel packages, you knock 10% off when you use code FTL at Vegas.com. It's the only place you can get insider information for the Vegas trip of your life. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. Oh, we just lost a guy who was on hold, wanted to talk about uh, the flag as a veteran. We'd love to have Nicholas call back. Meantime, we go to Steve listening in St. Louis. Steve, you're on Free Talk Live with the and Mark. Hey, guys. How's hey, it Steve. going? Go ahead with your thoughts. Going great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, with the flag, I mean, I treat it with respect. I do. I share that mean? most of your opinions. Well, I share most of your opinions. Do you but... pledge to it? No. Okay. But I sh- like. I think it's important to make sure it's folded correctly and not burn it. Hmm. <laughs> you know. So it seems a so, little religious, though, doesn't it? I mean, treating it kind of like a religious icon with yeah, certain. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, but I treat all the other things that are religious to me. I put those on a high shelf and mm-hmm. keep them. What's your religion? Buddhist. Oh, okay. Now, is that technically a religion? I mean, because my understanding of Buddhism was that uh, the Buddha didn't want it to become a religion. 
No, nah, it's not really. Yeah. Okay. Technically. Yeah. So um, I think that I for me, I, I, I tend to sh- – I don't want to have the discussion about the flag with most the average individual. So, you know, when the pledge pledging stuff goes on, I either just sort of go to the bathroom or, uh, you know, I'm not just going to sit there with my arms folded across my chest. Oh, I will. I know you will. Yeah. Um, I, I just don't. I, I don't know that it forwards the. I go- also like the move of standing up and turning around. Oh yeah, that's uh, <laughs> delightful. <laughs> For me, I or think not. that you've got to you got to meet people where they're at, and when you choose those methods that you're talking about, you're not really meeting them where they're at. You're, you're just you're starting a fight. Mm. Yeah, but does yeah, that mean I'd that market? Prefer, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say I prefer not to do that. Yep. Like not standing up, you know, when everybody pledges. You prefer, prefer to, to you prefer not to stand with them. Right. And put my hand on my heart, you know. Because you want to look like you're uh, in the, the in crowd. I guess. You don't want to yeah, upset anybody. Yeah, I don't want to upset anybody. Yeah. Even though I don't necessarily want that. But. I think that's an unfortunate uh, thing. I mean, I mean, if you have a strong belief, then you should act on those beliefs and you shouldn't hide, uh, you know, sort of hide out from other people just because you're worried about what they might think. I mean, there's a lot of uh, terrible things that have been done over the years because people would not speak out. People would not do what was unpopular. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you know, if you pledge allegiance along with another group or stand there, that somebody's going to get murdered as a result of that. But certainly, there have been instances. I love that uh, picture that was uh, ostensibly taken in Nazi Germany of the one guy standing there who's not, you know, putting his arm out doing the fascist uh, salute in a group of thousands of people who yeah. are doing that. And how many people in that group were going along to get along? Um, how many of them would, like this guy, wish they had his courage to to not uh, go along right. with the group? And Mark, do you stay seated when you go in uh, when you're in a courtroom? Yes, when I go to a courtroom, um, they ask the ask for you to ra- rise for the judge. Um, I do stay seated. Why? Uh, because why why would why would you go along with the pledge to appease people but stay seated when the same offense would be happening there, wouldn't it? Because with the judge, you can point at an individual. Hey, look. People will talk about you need to respect the office, and that's what you know. The, the you know folks, that's what everybody will say. But I'm like, it's not the office; it's a guy, and he didn't stand up for me, and he's really just doing a job, and that job is an arbitration service. Yeah, but you're not going to have the chance to talk to the people in the courtroom. You're gonna ha- you've got the I'll same my, situation. I'll take my stands where I can get them. Okay, so mm-hmm. um, I'm willing to take certain stands, and I'm not willing to take other stands. I think that there's hills to it's die. It's actually up. a ballsier stand, in my opinion, to not stand for a judge because that could result in you going to prison. Or to jail, at the very least, for contempt of court. It's understandable. I I understand Mark's position because I've actually been called to jury duty, and I didn't stand for the judge. As a a potential juror, you did not stand for the judge? I did not stand for him, no. Interesting. Steve, thanks for the call tonight, man. Go ahead. Oh, I was was going to add one other thing about— religious material a friend of mine took the quran he made a video where he ripped pages out of the quran you know and wiped his arse (laughs) with the pages that's pretty offensive now see i wouldn't engage in something like that um, but you know, to each his own. Thanks, Steve, for the call tonight. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. I think not standing in a courtroom is a ballsier thing to do than being the lone person to not stand for a pledge. There's more risk involved there, and people can be, I think, as shocked by your not standing for a judge as them being shocked by you not standing for the pledge. But I could be wrong about that. You could make the argument that perhaps people feel like the pledge is more important to them, and so therefore they would be more offended by that, I suppose. Share your thoughts here. 855-450-FREE. Dave is in New York. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hi, guys. How you doing? Dave, good. Go ahead, sir. Uh I do not like Chris Cantwell at all. I called him <laughs> to his show the other night on Friday because he does his own radio show, uh, I guess uh, his own show or whatever, which is yep. 
and he is very rude. He is very belligerent. Next time he is on a free talk live, I am never calling into the show ever again. He made fun of me on his show. I did what not did you expect it. to happen when you called Chris Cantwell's show? I mean, this like, is the guy who markets himself as an a hole. Yes, I know he's an a hole, but like I, I just wanted to speak with him briefly about a few two things that were on my mind, and you know, and he 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 was he became very belligerent, very arrogant, and so I I just like basically hung up on him. I couldn't I couldn't stand him anymore. So Dave, what do you? I I get that he's belligerent and arrogant. What do you think he was trying to get across to you besides uh, like the, the belligerence and the arrogance? What do you think he was trying to get across to you in that message? Uh, I have no idea, but like I, I just do not like him. And if he's ever on a few talk live again, I'm never going to speak to him okay. ever again. I just well, let do me not help like you. him. Let me help you because I listened to the cl the clip. Um, I did as well. Yeah, I saw this. And it's up on his YouTube channel. What he was trying to say was is that sometimes you have a difficulty communicating with people, and that it can be, um, you know, it, it it puts a wall between you and others. And like, for instance, he was bringing up the instance where you were knocking on uh, your friend's your your friend who's a woman's door, and uh, she wouldn't answer, and and you called in and said that women lie, and in fact, it kind of looks it looks I'm not saying it is it looks creepy and stalkerish. Dave. Hold that hold that thought, Dave. I want to bring you back here because uh, I understand you're talking about shutting down your YouTube channel. I want to hear more about that. Yes. It's free talk live. More coming up. The vet had them on antibiotics as well as steroids. Nothing worked. The vet had given him a cortisone. The vet prescribed an antihistamine. The vet thought that Molly was just old. Probably three to four hundred dollars every four months. At least five thousand dollars in vet bills. All total, twenty-seven hundred dollars in doggy fees, and all it took was one container of Dynavite. D i n o v i t e dot com. Eight five nine four two eight one thousand. The omega three fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. The ingredients are what the veterinarian says he was lacking. Within two days, his scratching, it seemed to go away. After five weeks, her fur is beautiful. She is totally happy. Molly's gotten this puppy look. Her coat has sheen. Oh, yes. Everything we tried failed except the Dynavite. My vet was completely blown away. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E oh. dot com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, Government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American Empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. 
Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink, providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial on in toll free and take control of the airwaves. Bring up anything that you'd like to discuss. We are talking about the, uh, the flag that was thrown out of a window by a middle school student. He U.S. Got, flag. Why is it the flag? That's a good point. There's plenty of flags. The U.S. flag thrown out of a, uh, a school window by a middle school student. He's in some hot water for that, but it brought up a larger conversation about uh, you know, what the flag is. Is it a religious icon? That's what I believe it to be. And, it's of course, the state is a very dangerous religion. Um, and I can understand why somebody wouldn't want to, somebody who doesn't believe in the flag, I can understand why somebody would not want to, I guess I, I can understand why they would want to go along to get along because, well, when you threaten somebody's religious beliefs by not going along with it, they can get kind of angry. And when you threaten the belief in the state, then they might get violent. I can't so, imagine how many people have been roughed up at, uh, you know, sports games and that sort of thing for not for standing, not pledging or whatever, do, doing whatever. Yeah. And what you need to consider is this isn't just people who, you know, like us who have sort of. Uh, fringe political beliefs. This is people like Jehovah's Witnesses. There's mm. a lot of them in the United States, as evidenced by the fact that there's a lot of kingdom halls. And they don't believe in icons, right? Right. Um, uh, Mennonites, uh, uh, Amish, you know, these folks, they don't pledge to the flag because they believe that uh, you, you don't pledge to earthly authorities when you have a king, uh, a king in heaven. We can talk more about it here, but actually held on to Dave in Poughkeepsie, New York, because as my understanding, he was talking about shutting down his YouTube channel. Uh, Dave, is it true? I mean, you've got thousands I, of videos, right? I have four YouTube channels, both of them end with a number one. And I have Hudson Valley Guy, uh, Hudson Valley Guy videos and Hudson Valley Guy in New York. I am shutting down all four of them. Why, so, Dave? Why? I mean, you've put up so much. You've put so much time and effort into these channels. I mean, to be fair, they're not very widely watched. But you know, you you seem to really like doing it. Um, I'm shutting them down because a I am not getting paid for my content, and b every time I go on Craigslist rants and raise, people always keep putting my videos up there and say, "Oh, this guy's an idiot," blah blah blah, blah whatever. <laughs> so I am, and, and they steal my videos. And, well, people and they, say they, the same they, things they about my and videos, they, and they and, and and they just basically edit my videos to hell. And I'm just I'm sick and tired of it. I'm I'm it's, 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 oh, I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm but that's what happens when you my... become uh, when you become famous, Dave. I mean, people will will make fun of you and they will take your videos and your audio and edit the hell out of them and they want to poke fun at you and that's just p kind of part and parcel to that whole thing. You can't handle fame is your what your problem is, Dave. That's really what it sounds like. I think it's well, sad. I'm not even getting paid for my content because what you know, does I make? Have, you know, Well, monetize it then. You can turn the monetization I on. Do monetize it. I, I, I do monetize them, but like you know, every time I get like an email saying, "Oh, more information is needed," blah blah blah. Oh, you didn't give and them I, enough and I, and info. I put information, whatever, hmm. you know. And but I'm I'm not even getting paid for my for my content, so why even bother making videos when I'm not even get, getting paid for it? There's a lot and of people. people there's a, for every for all the content you refuse to produce. Don't worry, there'll be lots of people that'll produce it for you. Some people just like to be seen. I mean, some people make videos because. People like to watch them. I mean, that's well, enough of a reward for some if people. If you want to get paid, to some extent, you have to have some level of uh, fame and notoriety, right. right? I mean, you know. It takes time to build that up. And uh, yeah, Free Talk Live, we didn't get paid for the first few years. <laughs> how many people are going to, you know, listen to my, uh, listen to my, go on my, my YouTube channel and, and listen to the song called Rennick Lover? It's by Soma FM. I hear it on the Doomed channel. How many people are going to listen to Rennick Lover? You know, that's a, that's a, I, I actually love that song because I hear it on, on Soma FM on the channel called Doomed. I love that song to hide. I don't out. know, Dave, but apparently um, not enough to keep but, you interested. Good luck. Thanks for the call tonight. The toll free number is 855 450 free. I'm actually bummed out about that because I enjoy. 
uh, some of Dave's videos. I mean, he's crazy, and and that's what makes the videos interesting and, and fun in some I think cases. This needs, I think they need to be preserved for posterity. It's right. So if somebody wants Dave's videos, uh, you can go in there. There are actually tools that you can use to download entire YouTube channels. They're fairly hard to find them that aren't loaded up with malware and stuff like that. <laughs> it's um, hard to find tools that aren't loaded up with malware. But once upon a time, I did find one of these YouTube downloader programs that actually did work and downloaded the entirety of an entire YouTube channel as MP4 files on my hard drive. So it is possible to do that. Uh, so if you wanted to preserve Dave's videos for the future, then you should probably go to his channel, Hudson Valley Guy in New York or Hudson Valley Guy NY1 or something like that. Anyway, you type that in. You'll pull him up. He's pretty entertaining in some of them. Some of them are just god-awful. Nicholas, you're on the line on Free Talk Live. Not sure where you're calling from. Welcome. Do we have Hello? Nicholas? Hey, you're on the air. Hey, yeah, this is Nicholas Ashman calling from Des Moines, Iowa. Welcome. Go ahead with your thoughts. Yeah, I just wanted to chime in. I'm a 15-year veteran I'm in the National Guard, and I've served overseas three different times. I'm sorry and to hear that. So I might agree. I might agree that a kid throwing a flag out the window isn't a reason to call the FBI, but I see the flag as a symbol of those freedoms and liberties that everybody loves to talk about and use for whatever reason and excuse to do things, to get away with things, or just do whatever they want. And I guess I feel like a kid throwing a wind, throwing a, the United States flag out of a window at school obviously should be some kind of disciplinary action. Well, I think that he should get disciplinary. The, the disciplinary action, I think, should be as similar to, th he threw a bunch of other stuff, a whole bunch of them threw some stuff, about right. four of them. And, right. I, you know, to me, I think that the disciplinary actions is sent around uh, throwing stuff out of the window. I think those students should use it as an opportunity to get the hell out of government school. Um, you know, this mind-numbing right. uh, kind of uh, indoctrination that goes on there. But if they choose not to do that, then... As far as I'm concerned, whatever discipline is something that they're voluntarily taking up. Um, now, here's what I had to say about the flag, though. I understand, and I, I get that a lot of people believe the flag stands for freedom and uh, that kind of thing. Well, it's a symbol, just like a Bible is a symbol of somebody's religion. How is the flag any different than the symbol of our nation's liberties and freedom of speech? It, well, it's actually it's a symbol of, religion, of the nation. The freedom of everything else. But it's right. a symbol it's of the nation. Of the nation. But the nation doesn't the stand nation for freedom, does it? You, yeah, but it's the same nation that allowed you to have this radio station. Right. Well, that's a comparison. Hold on. Time. That's a comparison um, issue. So you're what you're saying there is that this is the best nation, and I'm not arguing with that. Um, I didn't if you, say that. Well, that's what's – okay. <laughs> um, it's among the best nations. I'm, gonna, I'm willing to go ahead and say the United States is among the best nations on the planet. And I'm willing to say – the potential and ability to – be one of the greatest nations. I, I'm willing to say that skin cancer is among the most uh, more pleasant cancers out there. But that doesn't mean <laughs> that it is – this is a particularly good thing. And what concerns me about right. the flag particularly and pledges and um, the, the Pledge of Allegiance and the, uh, you know, the Star Spangled Banner and all this stuff is that politicians use it. They use people's adherence and love for the flag, and I get it. You know, it's not like one small tear has not staked its way down my cheek thinking right. about, uh, you know, eagles and flags and F-18s flying over football games. It's not like that hasn't happened to me. I'm going to own that because that's true for me. But politicians, what they do is they stand in front of that flag, they lie, they cheat, and they steal. And they do it because we hold the flag in reverence. If we didn't hold the flag in reverence, they wouldn't have this essentially this bulletproof shield that in many ways they protect themselves with. Does that make sense to you? I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure that they use the flag as a defensive mechanism. No. Nope. I, <laughs> really? I don't know how they can use Well, I mean, if you're, if you're not willing to see it as a symbol of whatever, you think it's just a piece of paper with colors on it, then how is it such a great shield for these people? Oh, no, I think the most people believe, here. like you do, that it's a symbol for freedom. I mean, that uh, there, there's that great country song. I can't remember who the, uh, the writer is off the top of my head, but the flag still stands for freedom, and they can't take that away. Looks well, like it stands— They did took it away. They took it away a long time ago. To me, it stands for oppression. I mean, it, it, you know, it just depends on who's looking at it and what their belief system is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the 50s— If the flag's painted on a, a Hellfire missile that drops on your Middle Eastern village, you aren't going to think it stands for freedom. I can 
consider the uh, the flag to be an icon of the state that people worship and that what it stands for is the federal government, which is a, really a terrible idea. Centralization well, of every power. State, every state has their own flag that symbolizes their state's individual governments, too. Yeah, yeah, I don't think people revere ugly. those nearly as much, except for Texas. And those, those people are really into their stars stuff. The stars on the flag symbolize the freedom. The stars, the 50 stars? stars? The stars no, represent for the states. Stars uh, traditionally yeah, represent— individual free states to do— yeah. I just don't— I But don't they're not see free, right? I like, that. The states I don't aren't agree free. that the politics use the flag— Well, then you're just not paying attention, Nicholas, and I thank you for the call tonight. Uh, The stars on the flag indicating the 50 states coming into the union. Stars traditionally represent states and states as in, you know, sovereign organizations. Uh, You know, the union, I think, is a terrible idea. I think the federal government's a bad idea to begin with because, again, it's centralized power and control. And, of course, the federal government is responsible for extracting all kinds of wealth and obedience from the people in the United States for the benefit of the politicians, the benefit of the military-industrial complex. To me, those are the things the the flag stands for. It stands for warmongering. It stands for destruction. And uh, I want nothing to do with it. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And I want nothing to do with the U.S. federal government either. No thanks. I'll pass. I just like the idea of freedom, which, of course, the feds don't stand for at all. More coming up. Why animals eat psychoactive plants? We can talk about that in Hour 3 on the way. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the Fully Informed Jury Association at FIJA.org. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, February 13th, 2015. Gold opened today at $1,230, up $6. Silver opened at $17.32, up $0.41. And Bitcoin is trading around $236. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest, most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Extreme weather from droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food to snowstorms of 70 inches plus stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, on Thursday, doctors and health professionals representing seven countries released a letter warning that the controversial Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement will lead to higher medical costs for all nations. 
The letter, published in the Lancet Medical Journal, states that rising medicine costs would disproportionately affect already vulnerable populations. The doctors called on the governments involved in the trade deal to publicly release the full text of the agreement. An international committee of scientists have released a report stating that geoengineering techniques are not a viable alternative to reducing greenhouse gas emissions to combat the effects of climate change. The committee report called for more research and the understanding of various geoengineering techniques before implementation. The scientists found that certain techniques are likely to present serious known and possible unknown environmental, social, and political risks, including the possibility of being deployed unilaterally. The report was sponsored by the National Academy of Sciences, the U.S. Intelligence Community, NASA, NOAA, and the U.S. Department of Energy. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department is seeking to upgrade its cell phone surveillance tools. That's according to recently revealed documents. News 10 Sacramento reports the department filed an application for a new $300,000 Stingray cell site simulator in August of 2013. Stingrays work by tricking cell phones into sending data to the devices as if it were a cell tower. Despite evidence that the department is using the tools, no requests for search warrants have been made. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by the Texas Bitcoin Conference. Hear from speakers like Charlie Shrem, Dr. Robert Murphy, Vitalik Futurin, and Catherine Bleich. March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Tickets on sale now, texasbitcoinconference.com. Support also comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, February 13th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Former intelligence analyst and whistleblower Chelsea Manning has been granted approval for hormone treatment for a gender transition. Officials with the Department of Defense stated the therapy was approved on February 5th. The announcement follows a lawsuit filed in D.C. last September where Manning stated she was at risk for suicide if not given treatment for gender dysphoria. Manning is currently serving a 35-year prison sentence for leaking classified documents to WikiLeaks. First Nations people of Southeast Alaska are facing threats to their traditions and way of life from large mining operations. The United Tribal Transboundary Mining Work Group and Haida Indian Tribes of Alaska are calling on the state of Alaska and the U.S. State Department to stop destructive mining operations, including mines in British Columbia, such as Red Cress, until further studies are conducted. The groups are calling for bans on watered tailings dams in response to a recent engineering report on the causes of a recent spill. The report highlighted shortcomings in designs and maintenance. The Liberty Beat is made possible by CoinArch, offering innovative trading solutions for Bitcoin. Do more than just buy and sell Bitcoin. Use long and short positions to profit in rising and falling markets and to boost your returns through leverage. Visit coinarch.com and sign up using coupon code MAX and get free brokerage for the first seven days. That's coinarch.com. Support also comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, February 13th, 2015. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Our planet is but a giant Petri dish swirling with pathogens, all mixed by the filthy stirring straw that is the world's fauna. Simply by sitting on her eggs and breathing, this duck unleashes a torrent of avian botulism, cholera, and duck plague into the air. These jousting elk slough off bits of skin and fur, sending millions of harmful bacteria into the air. Our closest relative, the chimpanzee, is itself the fountainhead of AIDS. Bitter at the ascendancy of man, these scheming apes brood this deadly virus in their jungle lairs. Nowhere on Earth is safe from the threat of animals. Even in the bitter wasteland of the Antarctic, penguins walk for miles inland, ensuring their afflictions reach every corner of the globe. This is the Onion News Network.
Free Talk Live. You take control of the airwaves toll free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, you've got me, Ian. And me, Mark. And we've got a website. It's freetalklive.com. Go there, get interactive. You can actually create the content right there on the front page of the website. It is a Reddit-based system, so you can submit uh, you know, news article, blog post, YouTube video, whatever you find online that you think is interesting, entertaining, outrageous, enlightening. You post it to the front page of the site. Other listeners can vote up or down, whether they like or dislike. It's all free, so go and get interactive at freetalklive.com. We've talked about burning the flag, or I guess not burning the flag, but throwing a flag out of a window and other desecrations. Uh, the idea of the United States flag as a religious icon. We've also uh, you know, been to your calls. You can, of course, call in about anything you want to discuss. Plus, there was a disturbing ISIS video, an alleged ISIS video, showing the decapitations of 21 so-called Coptic Christians out of Egypt. And that was pretty disturbing. We talked about that in the first hour. So you're welcome to comment on anything you'd like to discuss. Coming up this hour, boingboing.net has a piece here called Why Animals Eat Psychoactive Plants. It's uh, something that some people have actually observed happen in real life and can be fairly entertaining when it does. <laughs> Dan is on the line first, though, in Des Moines. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dan. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, Dan. What's on your mind tonight? Well, I was... Happy to talk about some Amanita muscaria, I, the magic mushroom, I guess. That yeah. The, uh, that the reindeer like to eat. I saw it when I was on a fishing trip up in Canada. Didn't try it myself, uh, but um, I read that I guess the Inuit people would follow the reindeer around after they ate the mushrooms and somehow uh, collect the urine and then drink that uh, and hallucinate since it was somehow less toxic than eating the mushroom itself. Really? So the question is, would you drink reindeer <laughs> uh, so you could trip off? I we would have to be really, really well convinced that this was somehow a good idea. Um, I am I skeptical. I feel bad for the person who, who goes around and collects it. Yeah, I'm skeptical right. of this story. Um, you know, usually when it comes to drugs... The uh, whatever it is that's in your urine afterwards is not going to have the active chemicals in it because it's already gone through your digestive tract and has been absorbed into your bloodstream. And anything that's in your urine is uh, essentially, oh God, I forget the the name for this. But when like you're when you're going to drug tests, they're testing for a certain remnant. That's not the right word, but I, there's there's it's some. In the, it's in the, hmm? Sometimes yeah, it would be I guess in the fat cells of your. It's still contained in your urine? Yeah, I mean, the, the active chemicals are not in your urine. There's some sort of huh. other thing that's left. I wish I had the right word to uh, to describe this, and Mark, you're not helping me uh, with any of it. So, Residual? Re residue? It's funny. Yeah, those are the close. Funny thing is there are also the, the little red mushrooms with the white dots that Mario likes to eat as well. So The Amanita muscaria? Look quite, you... Yes, look quite similar to the Mario mushrooms. So I don't know if there's a connection there. I'd like to uh, encourage people to do serious amount of research before they get involved with picking mushrooms. Uh, that can be a fairly dangerous right. activity because there are thousands of varieties of fungi out there, and, and some lots of them of are poisonous. Some of them will kill you. Uh, I, so keep that yeah. in mind and do your research. I, I like I like getting the edible ones to you know to eat, not the psychoactive ones. But they say if it grows on wood, it's good and. Usually, that's a good rule to go by, and right. that they're good to eat. I wouldn't take your word for it, Dan, but thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate <laughs> hearing from you, especially if you're claiming that you can get high off of drinking deer urine after the deers have consumed psychedelic mushrooms. I don't know. Maybe it's true, but there's a... I, the remnant or the the residue or whatever, it's not the actual active chemical. It's what's left over. It's the chemical that identifies the fact that the, the, the main chemical has been in your body. Like I'd if call you, it a precursor, but it's the opposite. Yeah, the right. Postcursor. Yeah, the postcursor. That's the, probably the best word. It's still not the, the scientific word, but it's the, probably the best one we're going to get here tonight. The, uh, the postcursor, the results of using this, the chemicals that are left after using it, that's what's going to come out in urine. That's what the drug tests test for to see if those things are present so um i don't believe the story i don't believe the story um 
855-450 free. That is uh, the toll free number here. The United Nations, according to boingboing.net, says the drug war's rationale is to build a drug free world. We can do it. This is apparently a quote from the U.N. The U.S. government officials agree, stressing that, quote, there is no such thing as recreational drug use, unquote. So this isn't a war to stop addiction like that in my family or teenage drug use. It's a war to stop drug use among all humans everywhere. All these prohibited chemicals need to be rounded up and removed from the earth. That is what we are fighting for. I began to see this goal differently after I learned the story of the drunk elephants, the stoned water buffalo, and the grieving mongoose. They were all taught to me by a remarkable scientist in Los Angeles named Professor Ronald Siegel, Ronald K. Siegel. The tropical storm in Hawaii had reduced the mongoose's home to a mess of mud, and lying there amid the dirt and the water was the mongoose's mate, dead. Mm. Professor Siegel, a silver-haired official advisor to two U.S. presidents and to the World Health Organization, was watching this scene. The mongoose found the corpse, and it made a decision. It wanted to get out of its mind. Two months before, the professor had planted a powerful hallucinogen called Silver Morning Glory in the pen. The mongooses had all tried it, but they didn't seem to like it. They stumbled around disoriented for a few hours and had stayed away from it ever since. Morning Glory is serious stuff not to be fooled around with. But not now. Stricken with grief, the mongoose began to chew. Before long, it had tuned in and dropped out. It turns out this wasn't a freak occurrence in the animal kingdom. It is routine. As a young scientific researcher, Siegel had been confidently told by his supervisor that humans were the only species that seek out drugs to use for their own pleasure. Well, that's ridiculous. I mean, I, I, Robin's going after fermented berries. I've seen it myself. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of evidence for this. Um, but that's what he was told when he was younger. And now he's older. Now he's silver haired. So we're talking about probably 50 years ago. I can't imagine they weren't observing these things at that time. But, but all right. Siegel had seen cats lunging at catnip, which he knew contains chemicals. That yeah, right. Catnip's a great example. Mimic the pheromones in a male tomcat's pee. So he wondered, could his supervisor really be right? Given the number of species in the world, aren't there others who want to get high or stoned or drunk? This question set him on a path that would take 25 years of his life, studying the drug-taking habits of animals from the mongooses of Hawaii to the elephants of South Africa to the grasshoppers of Soviet-occupied Czechoslovakia. It was such an implausible mission that in one marijuana field in Hawaii, he was taken hostage by local drug dealers because when he told them he was there to see what happened when mongooses ate marijuana, they thought it was the worst police cover story they'd ever heard. <laughs> I'll tell you more about his story here in moments. First, Mark is with us listening in Asheville to WWNC. Hello, Mark. Hi, guys. How are you all doing tonight? Great. Welcome, sir. Go ahead. Good. I just wanted to comment on what you are just talking about with the reindeer sure. drinking the pee. Uh, I believe the story is plausible. Uh, really? The word you're looking for is metabolite. Okay. And uh, But the reason I say it's plausible, there is a uh, tribe of South American Indians, uh, part of their coming-of-age ritual. Uh, they eat a certain kind of mushrooms, and they continually drink their own urine so they can continue to get high over and over again. Wow. Fascinating. Quite a story. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I heard that. And the metabolites, you're, you're talking about, usually this stuff does pass out, and you, you can't, uh, you know, you're not going to get anything off of it afterward. But there are some chemicals, such as mushrooms, that they don't, the body doesn't break them down. It simply passes them out through the urine. And How so about that? And just the urine, then there you go again. The urine of people who eat the mushrooms contains substantial quantities of the isoxole derivatives that produce the intoxicating effect. Apparently, there is some more information about this on the internet. Okay, you're starting to persuade me, although I'm still not interested in drinking urine to get high. Just, no, no, I I'll think I'll pass on that too. Yeah. Yeah, there's <laughs> but some... I just wanted to pass that along. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Hearing it from more than one person makes it seem more legitimate. <laughs> and I appreciate hearing from you tonight. <laughs> Argument. There you go. Populum. <laughs> no, but the, you can also look online here as I'm doing right now just to see if there's uh, any truth to that. Um, I Like I said, there's some really disgusting things people will do in order to uh, to get high, and that would rank in that uh, the, probably the, the bottom ten of those yeah, disgusting things. Yeah, that's not so things. great. Uh, 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. More about animals and inebriation. Animals uh, altering their state of consciousness. Is it a crime when they do it too? 
It's Free Talk Live. Maybe we should arrest some badgers or something like that. We're coming up. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Do you need access to money? Do you need cash today? If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit, or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm We're back with more Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. On this live Sunday edition. Coming up in under mm, three weeks, less than three weeks at this point, we're going to be in Manchester, New Hampshire, for the New Hampshire Liberty Forum. We'll be broadcasting live Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, March 5th. Through the 8th, that's when the forum's happening. It's a great event. If you've never been 
to the Liberty Forum. Don't miss it. If it's, it's still not too late for you to get tickets. In fact, I will tell you how to get a free ticket to this event, which has never been done before, by the way, before 2015 that I've been, we've been promoting the Liberty Forum every single year it's ever happened. We've been live broadcasting from the event every single year it's, it's happened and never have they given away tickets to this event. That doesn't mean the event's, you know, a crappy event now and they, they're they desperate to give away tickets. No, this is, as far as I know, only going through Free Talk Live. Correct. As far as I know as well. Um, but the event is bigger than it's ever been. They had to move the event to a new hotel, to a new convention space, to the largest convention space in New Hampshire. It's the Radisson Hotel in Manchester. So we'll look forward to seeing you there. All kinds of great liberty-oriented speakers like Ben Swan, Jeffrey Tucker, uh, the, the gentleman from Overstock.com, Patrick uh, Byrne. Patrick Byrne. I don't know why I'm spacing on his last name. But, yeah, so those are the, the keynote speakers. But there's many other speakers. You can go to NHLibertyForum.com to get the full list there. But here's how you get the free basic ticket to the Liberty Forum. You can take advantage of this offer for the next two weeks, so through the end of the month. Uh, here in February. So basically, you've brought almost right up to, to Liberty Forum to actually take advantage of this. But what you have to do is email me, ian at freetalklive.com, and you have to pledge that you will attend one of the sessions, specifically the FSP questions, the Free State Project questions. It's a session that's happening on Saturday. Carla Mora is going to be the host of this session. She will field your questions, whatever questions you have about the Free State Project. Bring them. Now, you don't have to ask questions. You just have to commit to attend that particular session on uh, 1230 on the Saturday during the Liberty Forum. So if you're willing to do that, if you're willing to commit to attend just that one session, you just email me at ian at freetalklive.com with the, the name that you want on your ticket, and I'll get it taken care of for you. It's that simple. That's excellent. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Well, no, it's not me. It's uh, I mean, it's the Liberty Forum. You're helping. I, that's true. I did, I did agree to assist. I guess you could say that. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing you there March 5th through the 8th. And now that you can get a free ticket, what do you got to lose? So we're talking about animals and them uh, eating psychedelic things, drinking alcohol, altering their state of consciousness. And we had an interesting call suggesting that reindeer urine... Uh, can actually be used to get high just as a sort of related uh, to that If you use the reindeer to filter a particular type of psychedelic mushroom. Correct, uh, which is the Amanita muscaria. And the gentleman who called in— It's the way I use—actually use uh, use—it's the way I use pigs to filter vegetables. But you're not getting high off of the pig. No, no. Uh, So the guy who called in first about this, I was pretty shocked. I didn't really believe what he was saying. It sounded like a kind of a mean way to get somebody to drink some urine in hopes of getting (laughs) high. Uh, But actually, it appears that there's legitimacy to this. And now you're interested. There's there's science here, Mark. Uh, Here's askmen.com. I'm I'm jumping from our original article, which we'll come back to, about the the animals getting high. But into this little brief uh, bit from Ask Men. Coca-Cola's advertising campaign in the 1930s may have solidified Santa's image as the jolly rotund guy we know today, but Santa's true origins stem from the traditions of the pea-drinking reindeer herders of northern Europe. Reindeer are fond of eating... Reindeer are fond of eating fly agaric mushrooms, Amanita muscaria, which is what we were talking about. Yeah. The red and white toadstools often associated with Christmas because they contain compounds that are hallucinogenic and euphoric. Reindeer digestive systems are able to metabolize the more poisonous components of the toadstool, leaving urine with the psychoactive elements of the mushroom intact. Who figured this out? The Sami people of northern Europe would regularly feed fly agaric to reindeer and collect their urine, apparently those people, the semi people of Northern <laughs> Europe, uh, and collect their urine to get a high similar to LSD. Under the hallucinogenic effects of the reindeer urine, the Sami taught their or thought their reindeer were flying through space, looking down on the world. When the first missionaries reached Lapland, they heard stories of flying reindeer and integrated them into the existing Christmas folklore of Western cultures. Hmm. That is fascinating that the flying reindeer in the Santa story came from some tripping Indians, basically. <laughs> well, they're not Indians. This or, is Europe. Well, whatever you call them. What do you call the natives of uh, of Europe? Vikings. 
the Sami people. I don't know. The practice of drinking reindeer urine was reserved for those who had the time to collect the mushroom, which meant that the poorer class would drink the urine of the better off, which was collected in bowls or skin bags. You've got to be kidding me. Evidence suggests that the drug's hallucinogens remain active even after having passed through five or six people. Some scholars maintain... Oh the, some scholars maintain this is the true origin of the expression to get pissed. The Kor- Koryak shaman holy men who correct, uh, collected fly agaric in Siberia wore special attire consisting of red and white fur-trimmed coats and long black boots. They would gather the mushrooms from under sacred evergreen, tr- evergreen trees and collect them in large sacks. They would then enter their teepee-like homes called yurts through the smoke hole at the top, carrying a sack full of dried fly agaric. Once inside, they would share their gift with those gathered inside and then leave back through the smoke hole. Sound familiar? From climbing into chimneys and gift-giving to dressing in red and white and flying through the air with reindeer, storytellers and travelers fuse the ancient customs of shamanistic urine-drinking rituals with other pagan traditions, and these were integrated by early Christians into our modern Christmas traditions. Santa does exist, and he's a pusher. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> i thought that story was really interesting yeah well it's interesting yeah, yeah so there you go the christmas religion all of its trappings uh the christmas story the santa claus thing uh may have been influenced by people who were tripping on mushrooms it sounds like they're making a pretty good case for it all right boing boing dot net back to the story about ronald k siegel this is a uh, professor and he has been studying throughout his career the fascinating study of animals getting high. Now, what he discovered seems strange at first about the mongoose. We talked about the mongoose eating uh, some very psychedelic plants after its loved one had uh, been killed by a terrible storm and its home had been destroyed. He explains in his book, which is called Intoxication, quote, After sampling the numbing nectar of certain orchids, bees drop to the ground in a temporary stupor. Then weave back for more. (laughs) Birds gorge themselves on inebriating berries, then fly with reckless abandon. Cats eagerly sniff aromatic pleasure plants, then play with imaginary objects. Cows that browse special special range weeds will twitch, shake, and stumble back to the plants for more. Loco weed. Elephants purposely get drunk off of fermented fruits. Snacks of magic mushrooms cause monkeys to sit with their heads in their hands in a posture reminiscent of Rodin's thinker. The pursuit of intoxication by animals seems as purposeless as it is passionate. Many animals engage these plants or their manufactured allies despite the danger of toxic or poisonous effects. Noah's Ark, he found, would have looked a lot like London on a Saturday night. More coming up here in moments about animals getting high. Why do they do it? 855 450 free. And should it be criminal? Because we got to put a stop to these drugs or ban. 855 450 3733. Live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live continues in moments. Hey there, Guns80.com continues to surprise us with low prices and high-quality Ghost AR-15 rifle kits. At Guns80.com, Ghost AR-15 kits are an even better idea than buying at gun shows or through private parties. Because the Ghost AR-15 kits at Guns80.com require no background checks, no registration, they don't even have serial numbers. That's what I call privacy. Go to Guns80.com to order your Ghost AR-15 rifle kit. No dealers, no hassles, ship direct. Guns80.com or 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248-6780. It's no secret. Secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's togethersave.com. Togethersave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. Togethersave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at togethersave.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. 
FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course you can bring up whatever you want. We're talking about animals getting high and drunk, inebriating themselves. Why do they do it? That's the question being asked and uh, answered over at boingboing.net. I'll uh, share the link on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter so you can dig into this yourself. I don't know if we'll get through the whole story because it's fairly detailed. Uh, talking about Ronald K. Siegel and his study over many, many years of the uh, phenomenon. That is actually fairly common of animals ingesting various different substances that will alter their states of consciousness. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can also support the show by becoming a Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. It's five bucks a month. That's all it costs to amp the show, and it makes a big difference for us because it allows us to invest uh, the AMP dollars into Free Talk Live to get us on more radio stations, on more people's internet connections, on more satellite channels around the world to expose new folks to the ideas of freedom. So if you think what we're doing here is valuable on Free Talk Live and you want to get perks like access to the AMP Only call-in lines, the AMP Only podcast, AMP Only forum, as well as the AMP Only Facebook group, uh, it's all there for you and it's just five bucks a month. At amp.freetalklive.com, you can use any major credit card through PayPal, use Visa or MasterCard right there on our website, amp.freetalklive.com. Please, it makes a big difference for us. Plus, there's a special offer on the table right now for those of you who become Free Talk Live Platinum Amplifiers by March 1st and you stay a Platinum Amplifier through uh, May 1st, you will be qualified to get a free long sleeve tech fabric fancy shirt. That is a Free Talk Live amplifier exclusive, exclusive only for platinum amplifiers. So you've got to be a platinum amplifier by March 1st. 
stay a platinum for at least two months at that point, and you will then receive uh, one of these shirts. It's very cool. It's going to be a word cloud design, meaning it'll have a bunch of the topics that we've talked about sort of on the shirt. You can see what the design looks like by going to shirt dot freetalklive.com and again get signed up as a platinum amplifier it's the top level amplifier it's 25 bucks a month for platinum uh, get signed up for that by march 1st you got uh, just under two weeks at this point to do that if you want to qualify for this exclusive shirt so thanks to michael january for uh, putting forth the effort to yeah. make this thing happen he's designed the shirt he's going to fulfill the orders and everything and that's awesome because it's one less thing for you and i to have to worry about mark so i really appreciate his efforts there and he's also a platinum amplifier and he wanted to see more people become platinum so again go to amp.freetalklive.com and again if all you can afford is five bucks a month or ten bucks a month we still appreciate it you still get all the regular perks there amp.freetalklive.com to your calls and thoughts tommy is in glasgow via skype hello tommy Tommy on Skype going once. Tommy on Skype going twice. It could be me, Tommy. Hang on. We'll put you Hello. on. Oh, up oh, there. And it wasn't me that time. <laughs> Tommy, go ahead, sir. You're on the air. My fault. Sorry, Ian. How are you doing? That's all right. Go ahead. You're on. How you doing, Darryl? Good, yeah. good. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> I've, uh, the, the, the reindeer, I don't know if you, you know the, the word for, they can, sorry, they can take our lives, but they'll never take a reindeer pash. <laughs> but uh, the, the the stuff about uh, I don't know if you know the word in Scottish for uh, feces. Do we call it jobby? I don't know if you're aware of that. A jobby, yeah. No. No, we call it a jobby, yeah. So the, the a, a number two. So so if you combine, it's it said of of old Viking Scottish legend that if you combine uh, you combine uh, Viking jobbies and a reindeer. Pash, then you will be able to have sex with the most beautiful woman on the planet. <laughs> well, and if it doesn't happen, at least you can have the most vivid dreams about it happening. You know, yeah, I, so you get yourself, would. get yourself down there. But on a serious point, well, maybe not a two series. Before I get to my serious point, there was one time when I was smoking a bit of uh, hashish, mm -hmm. a bit of Moroccan hashish, and I accidentally dropped it down the old lavatory. Uh-oh. And it fell, it fell into some, uh, not reindeer pash, but some of my own pash. Mm -hmm. And so I fished it out. It was only in there for like half a nanosecond. And uh, at times That's when I used to run It must have out been of, some expensive hash to get in well, there and fish listen, that out. Uh, and at times when I used to run out of my good stuff, I used to go on and end up smoking it. Because I was desperate. But how uh, big of a I, chunk I, of hash I, did you drop in the toilet? <laughs> yeah, that's how. That, I mean, when you're an addict and you're wanting to smoke, you know, and, and you've only got your bit of uh, pash, pa, pash stained hash, you know, you, you'll end up smoking it. I, I, I would say that the high wasn't as good as what you would get probably with the reindeer pash. Mm -hmm. But as I'm not a, a connoisseur of the reindeer stuff, because I've not been to the place to, to sample it, but I think I'm booking a first class ticket tomorrow. I wonder if they've to, got to that on Reindeer Silk Road. Land. I wonder if you can Silk, get... Silk Road, I thought, it was, I thought it was shut down. I thought your man had it shut down. No, no, no. I, it's I, the, they're on 3.0 at this point. There's now a Silk Road 3.0. <laughs> there's a Silk Road on I2P. There's several other uh, yeah, comp careful, competing you don't get... markets. So what was the, your Which... serious point? Because uh, go ahead with that. You may, you may get done for advertising there. You better calm down on that. My serious point, no, well, human beings would not have evolved. Myself, personally, I talk from human experience, just myself, me and I. I was, you know, I, I, how can I put it without? Yes, it is harmful effects. You hear all in the media. The media is too quick to say, oh, drugs do that and drugs do this. Mm -hmm. But there is beneficial effects from the plants that were given to us, if you believe in a higher being than God, that these plants are a medicine for us, not to abuse. One of the sicknesses of our culture that we share is one where the abuse culture of something is something so good, but then you can use stuff for a medicine to self-medicate, which is far better than, than going to these uh, pharma drugs companies to get some hyped-up drug chemical that they make up. You're better... Uh, probably dabbling in something like reindeer pash or or some cactus <laughs> plant or something like that that would expand your mind because too many people out there suffer from a disease that I would call small mindedness. Yeah, for and, sure. And you know that, 
and and they dabble in the drugs that uh, you know tobacco and alcohol that that suppress the the inner uh, the inner being of a person and somebody who takes acid I think at an early age, age like I did it opens your mind for the rest of your life that you cannot be influenced or brainwashed by the elites forever you know because you can see through their trip they're on a different trip to confuse and, and control but then if you take a mind altering substance you can stand at the side and laugh at them say hey the only thing that you have got as a person is what they want to get is your mind. So if you can control your mind mm -hmm. and divert them away, the people who control society, you know, if you I can... I tend to agree, I, Tommy. I, I'm totally on board you know with... What I'm saying? With, I, yeah, I think that I think that you know some of the experiences I've had with psychedelics and entheogens, uh, as well as empathogens, have been some of the most important experiences I've uh, I've ever had in my life. And I think it's I think that there's a lot of truth to what you're saying here tonight. And I thank you for the call. Our toll free yeah. number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Now I'd say that um, there's plenty of people. Uh, Alcohol is a mind altering drug. Lots of people yes, who, who drink that, and uh, they're they're not getting, you know, they're not breaking free from no. The that's state what he paradigm. specific said when he was speaking there oh, was that the alcohol represses okay. uh, that uh, nicotine alcohol he says are keeping people in the the old paradigm and uh, I, th I think that he's right I mean there's a reason why that stuff's legal but yet it's incredibly dangerous however some of these psychedelics can really be mind openers now be careful if you're going to get into this stuff you should do some research and there's a lot of information out there thankfully we're in the information age now so there's no excuse you know the old story about the teenagers grabbing from a uh, jar of pills and popping pills yeah, there's no excuse to do it's a good that way to end up dead yeah um you got to do your research there are uh, there's a lot to learn and arrowid.org is a great site on which to do that to learn about these things read trip reports read people's experiences try to have some understanding of what you're getting into before you actually get into it people that are most likely to do this teenagers are the ones i trust the least to do it yeah, I didn't really take any psychedelics until I was in my early 20s, and I think it's probably a good thing. But I, the, everybody's, you know, matures at a different time, so I wouldn't say there's. I wouldn't disagree with that. A specific age on this stuff. It makes me, it, it worries me. I've got to say. There's more on the way here. Uh, the animals, of course, have been using drugs for a long time. We'll talk more about their experiences here, as related by one scientist who's been studying it for quite a long time. 855 450 free, or you can share your thoughts here on Free Talk Live. More coming up. Majid lives in Nor Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. coffee.freetalklive.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturing. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. 
You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special super early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through early March, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain. Maybe enough time for you if you call now at 855-450-FREE. We're talking about animals getting high. Why do they do it? That's the question being asked over at boingboing.net. There's an author, uh, the researcher... Professor Ronald K. Siegel has been studying this for quite a long time. We'll uh, continue here with that story. Your calls and thoughts are welcome. You can bring up anything you want. We've also got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Just a couple more uh, anecdotes here from this story, and then we'll get right into your thoughts. Noah's Ark, uh, the scientist found, would have looked a lot like London on a sun Saturday night. Quote, in every country, in almost every class of animal, I found examples of not only the accidental but the intentional use of drugs. In West Bengal, a group of 150 elephants smashed their way into a warehouse and drank a massive amount of moonshine. <laughs> they got so... Don't laugh. They got so drunk, they went on a rampage and killed five people. Oh, God. Drunk as well elephants. As, yeah. As well as demolishing seven concrete buildings. If you give hash to male mice, they become horny and seek out females, but then they find they can barely crawl over the females, let, al uh, let alone mount them. So after a little while, they yawn and start licking their own penises. <laughs> In Vietnam, the water buffalo have always shunned the local opium plants. They don't like them. But when the American bombs started to fall all around them during the war, the buffalo left their normal grazing grounds, broke into the opium fields, and began to chew. Huh. They would then look a little dizzy and dulled. When they were traumatized, it seems, they wanted, like the mongoose, like us, to escape from their thoughts. Medicate their minds. So we can continue with this here, but let's go first to Rob. He is calling from somewhere on Skype. Rob, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, yeah. Uh, I, Rob, back uh, off your mic. Here. Back off your mic, like uh, two inches. How's that? A little better. Better go. go. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, I, on the same topic, I'm sure it's been around the internet for decades now, but the spiders on drugs images. Yeah, those the are fake, webs, right? Those are fake? Yeah, it's just a joke. Okay, well, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, back to the It's uh, a funny mushrooms. video. The spiders on drugs video is an, enter an entertaining YouTube video, uh, but it's I'm pretty sure that's satire. Oh, well, this is not a video. It's images of the webs of spiders given different drugs, such as caffeine, LSD, marijuana, et cetera, et cetera. Hmm. And uh, I'd say the most beautiful web, as I recall, I don't have it in front of me, was the LSD web. Very intricate, 
uh, very symmetrical, very beautiful. Uh, the caffeine was one of the ugliest. Hmm. Uh, but uh, yeah, on to the uh, subject of the mushrooms. Uh, yeah, the uh, there's a lot of uh, evidence that these mushroom spores are actually uh, not terrestrial origin. They've actually come to the planet through space. These spores can live for thousands, if not millions of years hmm. in uh, space conditions. And uh, the, the way that these things uh, have, you know, populated our planet is really amazing because... How'd they get off their own planet? I... A space storm. I don't know. <laughs> are we? I don't know where they are. Came we sending from. spores out now from this planet. Me? Who's that? Are we sending out spores from this planet now? Uh, I don't. I don't think that's happening. I mean, it could be. I don't know. I don't know how they got here. It's an interesting claim. But, uh, yeah. It's a. It's a Terrence McKenna topic. Actually, he goes into a lot of detail on that, his ideas on that. And, uh, but, you know, on into the, the idea of the mycelium and a lot of the permaculturalists now, they're so, uh, this mycelium is a network of intelligence throughout the guard, the whole garden, the whole uh, earth area. And uh, a lot of people now are like cultivating this mycelium and it, as a, uh, that it actually is part of the ecosystem communication network. What is it? It mycelium is actually the mushroom, kind of the roots of the mushroom, the part that lives underground and that hmm. eventually pops up fruits hmm. that look like what we call mushrooms. But there's a whole, there's a whole, there's as much of it. Apparently, there can be as much or more of it underground and mix through the soil as there is above ground. Fascinating. Above ground. Rob, and thanks for your call, man. I appreciate hearing from you tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Professor Siegel's story of buzzing cows and tripping bees is he believes a story about us. We are an animal species. As soon as plants began to be eaten by animals for the first time way back in prehistory, before the first human took his first steps, the plants evolved chemicals to protect themselves from being devoured and destroyed. But these chemicals could, it soon turned out, produce strange effects. In some cases, instead of poisoning the plant's predators, they quite by accident altered their consciousness. This is when the pleasure of getting wasted enters history. All human children experience the impulse early on. It's why when you were little, you would spin around and around or hold your breath to get a head rush. Yep. You knew it would make you sick, but your desire to change your consciousness a little to experience a new and unfamiliar rush outweighed your aversion to nausea. There has never been a society in which humans didn't serially seek out these sensations. High in the Andes in 2000 BC, they were making pipes through which they smoked hallucinogenic herbs. Ovid said drug-induced ecstasy was a divine gift. The Chinese were cultivating opium by AD 700. Hallucinogens and chemicals caused by burning cannabis were found in clay pipe fragments from William Shakespeare's house. George Washington insisted that American soldiers be given whiskey every day as part of their rations. Quote, the ubiquity of drug use is so striking, physician Andrew Vail concludes, that it must represent a basic human appetite. Professor Siegel claims the desire to alter our consciousness is the fourth drive in all human minds alongside the desire to eat, drink, and have sex. And it is biologically inevitable, he Where's says. Where's shelter on that one? It provides us with moments of release and relief. Thousands of people were streaming into a 10-day festival in September where they were planning, after a long burst of hard work, to find some chemical release, relaxation, and revelry. They found drugs passed around the crowd freely and anybody to anybody who wanted them. Everyone who took them soon felt an incredible surge of ecstasy. Then came the vivid, startling hallucinations. You subtly felt, as one user put it, something that was new, astonishing, irrational to rational con cognition. Some people came back every year because they loved this experience so much. As the crowd thronged and yelled and sang, it became clear it was an extraordinary mix of human beings. There were farmers who had just finished their harvest and some of the biggest celebrities around. Their names over the years included Sophocles, Aristotle, Plato, and Cicero. 
The annual ritual in the temple at Eleusis, 18 kilometers northwest of Athens, was a drug party on a vast scale. It happened every year for 2,000 years, and anybody who spoke the Greek language was free to come. Harry Anslinger said that drug use represents, quote, nothing less than an assault on the foundations of Western civilization, unquote. But here, the actual foundations of Western civilization, drug use, was ritualized and celebrated. I first discovered this fact by reading the work of the British critic Stuart Walton in a brilliant book called Out of It, and then followed up with some of his resources, which include various different professors' work. Everyone who attended the Eleusinian Mysteries was sworn to secrecy about what happened there, so our knowledge is based on scraps of information that were recorded in its final years as it was being suppressed. We do know that a special cup containing a mysterious chemical brew of hallucinogens would be passed around the crowd, and a scientific study years later seemed to prove it contained a molecular relative of LSD, taken from a fungus that infested cereal crops and caused hallucinations. The chemical contents of this cup were carefully guarded for the rest of the year. The drugs were legal. Indeed, this drug use was arranged by public officials and regulated. You could use them, but only in the designated temple for those 10 days. One day in 415 BC, a party-going general named Alcibiades smuggled some of the mystery drug out and took it home for his friends to use at their parties. Caught in possession with intense to supply, he was the first drug criminal. Let's go to James. He's in Arizona. James, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Ian Bernard. Hi, James. What I'm Ian get, Freeman. Go ahead. What you get your high school sweetheart for Valentine's Day? Mark, speaking of teenagers not being able to make adult decisions of who they sleep with. What? My relationship is none of your business, James. Did you have you anything you wanted to talk about? When you scored with her, Ace? Uh, none of your business, James. Goodbye. 855 450 free. I'm not here to, uh, to titillate you, James. Going on. Uh, so, but while it was a crime away from the temple and other confined spaces, it was a glory within it. According to these accounts, it was Studio 54 spliced with St. Peter's Basilica, revelry with religious reference. They believed the drugs brought them closer to the gods, or even made it possible for them to become gods themselves. We'll post the full article here for you. Drug use has been around for a long time. And uh, you should be careful with it. Again, do your research over at arrowit.org, and we'll see you tomorrow night online. In the meantime, freetalklive.com. Here's This is the Onion Week in Review. Quiet and reserved temp Kevin Bright surprised his co-workers this week when they discovered that the mild-mannered 27-year-old was actually an untalented singer-songwriter. How did I get here? It's probably a dream. Bright, who mostly keeps to himself at work, usually spends his free time embarrassing himself at open mics across the city, and that underneath his meek and soft-spoken exterior is a terrible guitarist with no musical sensibility whatsoever. You see him in the office, he's this quiet, reserved kid, and you would never think, oh, he's got a great voice and a wonderful stage presence, and you'd be totally right. In other news, an Ohio Film Festival graphic designer decides to go with film reels for the O's. And getting Grandma into a family reunion t-shirt is a three-person job. The entire 144-minute cut of this week's review is available now for just $11.99 on Laserdisc. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges yeah! This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. 
I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, February 13th, 2015. Gold opened today at $1,230, up $6. Silver opened at $17.32, up $0.41. Cents, and Bitcoin is trading around $236. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest, most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Extreme weather from droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food to snowstorms of 70 inches plus stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, on Thursday, doctors and health professionals representing seven countries released a letter warning that the controversial Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement will lead to higher medical costs for all nations. The letter, published in the Lancet Medical Journal, states that rising medicine costs would disproportionately affect already vulnerable populations. The doctors called on the governments involved in the trade deal to publicly release the full text of the agreement. An international committee of scientists have released a report stating that geoengineering techniques are not a viable alternative to reducing greenhouse gas emissions to combat the effects of climate change. The committee report called for more research and the understanding of various geoengineering techniques before implementation. The scientists found that certain techniques are likely to present serious known and possible unknown environmental, social, and political risks, including the possibility of being deployed unilaterally. The report was sponsored by the National Academy of Sciences, the U.S. Intelligence Community, NASA, NOAA, and the U.S. Department of Energy. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department is seeking to upgrade its cell phone surveillance tools. That's according to recently revealed documents. News 10 Sacramento reports the department filed an application for a new $300,000 Stingray cell site simulator in August of 2013. Stingrays work by tricking cell phones into sending data to the devices as if it were a cell tower. Despite evidence that the department is using the tools, no requests for search warrants have been made. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by the Texas Bitcoin Conference. Hear from speakers like Charlie Shrem, Dr. Robert Murphy, Vitalik Futurin, and Catherine Bleich. March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Tickets on sale now, texasbitcoinconference.com. Support also comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, February 13th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Former intelligence analyst and whistleblower Chelsea Manning has been granted approval for hormone treatment for a gender transition. Officials with the Department of Defense stated the therapy was approved on February 5th. The announcement follows a lawsuit filed in D.C. last September where Manning stated she was at risk for suicide if not given treatment for gender dysphoria. Manning is currently serving a 35-year prison sentence for leaking classified documents to WikiLeaks. First Nations people of Southeast Alaska are facing threats to their traditions and way of life from large mining operations. The United Tribal Transboundary Mining Work Group and Haida Indian Tribes of Alaska are calling on the state of Alaska and the U.S. State Department to stop destructive mining operations, including mines in British Columbia, such as Red Crest, until further studies are conducted. The groups are calling for bans on watered tailings dams in response to a recent engineering report on the causes of a recent spill. The report highlighted shortcomings in designs and maintenance. The Liberty Beat is made possible by CoinArch, offering innovative trading solutions for Bitcoin. Do more than just buy and sell Bitcoin.